Episode 104, 104, we're at your back door, it's Cheeky Mal and Uncle Gibbo here to talk you through our week, deedly deedly, lots of things have happened to us, we'll tell you about the fuss, it's the Hashtag Boys, we're back again on the Hashtag Show! Welcome anal soldiers! Welcome home, anal, <laughs> anal soldiers. Brethren, many men have been lost on the anal battlefield. Anal soldier? I just cannot hate. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Remember you used to call people like Pierre, all the slangs that you used to call people back in the day? Back, what was it? Backdoor bandit, anal astronaut. You're an anal astronaut, mate. Oh, Paul Gardner. <laughs> Chutney ferret. Chutney ferret. Oh, mate. I bet the problem is, I think, I called it as a, a chutney ferret. A ferret that enjoys chutney. Just as you say that, I was... I ended up watching one of these now, folk. Wayne's fucking playing Call of Duty. Some of the part are great, man. Like, mm. some of the just the fucking pure disses are unbelievable. It's, it's the Scottish ones are the best. Aye, aye. It's when like, a wee American guy comes on and then they just all rip. I heard one when the guy's like, mate, your mom's getting rattled off everybody in the scheme. And the wee guy's like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> They're just you all rip the wee American guy. <laughs> keep them on board on it and just fucking <laughs> smash them. <laughs> and then when he gets them killed, they just hurl abuse them. I'm eight years old. Listen, wee man. You're gonna get it. I'll tight. pump you up the ass, you wee fucking <laughs> pedo. You wee ass cabbage. It's all mad fucking shit. But it's the thing about it is, is, these boys have got a fucking IQ of about four. Oh, and they've been brought up with shite patter. And that's how it, what's funny about it, because they're just. <laughs> she is whatever their dark old name, they'll just call their mates all in line. <laughs> but the worrying thing is, mate, they're dynamite at playing Call of Duty. So when the revolution comes and they've all got to fly drones into fucking people, we're fucked. Do you know what I mean? Oh, see. See that kind of argument? It's a lot of shite, because what they're going to end up doing is sitting in a darkened room. <laughs> nah, like mate, you're talking shite there, big man. Let me tell you that. They're all going to wank themselves to death. <laughs> oh, my. oh, 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 no. Don't start touching oh. buttons now. Speak to me. Oh, Your oh. default mic has changed. Aye, I know. You sound weird. You sound like you, you work in a corner shop. I'll tell you what. I go this cheap up the Costco and it's fucking no working. I need to take it back. <laughs> Near refunds. Near refunds, man. See, like, fucking last week, hey. What? Last what have you week, done? right? Do you know what? This is this is giving me nostalgia for the old setup with the old studio. The old days. But it used to take you fucking hours to turn things on. Just to get rid of the V Man's PlayStation and plug in the fucking things. <laughs> um, no, it should be. It should be working. You sound better now. You sound normal now. Yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. Because I'm back on track. I just moved things. What? And it fucking threw me because I was going to say something there. Oh, no. I was going to say something show stoppingly funny. Uh, but, uh, you know, you know, those days are gone. <laughs> you were talking about kids playing games, computer games. Aye. Kids playing games, right? Mate, let's that's be your, honest, man. That is your They're age, fucking, man. That's your age now. You're no, but fucking, let's be honest. Your body can't digest all the meat you're eating and your mind's slowing down now. You can't remember your conversation. Well, before we get to battery points, right. I'd just like to say, if the cunts that are playing COD with a good partner or the cunts that's going to help us come the big war, no, 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 because you're forgetting. They've been fucking sat in a room 24-7, drinking iron brew and eating fucking party snacks out of Asda's non-stop. They're just fucking coming out. They're bigger than you. They're making like two of us put together. Here's the battle. Here's the battle. I fucking... <laughs> Where's my joystick? Mo, who switched in on the off? But mate, They're fucking the, assholes. The battle's not going to be on the street. The battle's going to be... Oh, it's going right. to be some guy Online. sitting... It's going to be some guy sitting in a fucking shipping container flying drones to blow you up. That's what it's going right to be. Enough. I'll just let cunts let me try to punch him out of the sky. Aye. <laughs> you'll be you, short. You are, wee man. Get yourself Find tooled up. Are you fucking man, you drone. Come on, Whack. son. Whack. Come, come with your dad. We're doing the high street fight the Chinese. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Cut my fucking Hulk's mask gloves on. I'll fucking show you how you do it, son. Let's fucking go. 
fucking Shanghai Shuffle, you can't arigato. <laughs> Blow it up, man. <laughs> kabosh, kabosh, pow, pow, whack. You won't have anything yet. <laughs> there you do, so, son. See when I was at school. <laughs> You're having a nightmare this morning, man. Stop moving things about. I'm actually, I'm actually buzzing, man. I had a good day. Uh, this morning, you know, on the emails and all that, uh, did, things started falling <laughs> into plan. You had a good date, mate. It's 11 o'clock. The day's, the day's not even started yet. Aye, you know, but for movers and shakers like you and I, Scott, we're up at the crack of dawn uh, moving and shaking on emails and that, you know. See, yesterday, yesterday, obviously, we were, we were going to record yesterday and it sent in a bit of a, uh, let's just say, uh, DJ Gibble being, a, being an, an errand boy, a bitch, shall a we Christ- say. A Christmas faggot. <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> Christmas, uh, Fagato. Because uh, you, you bought a bunch of them for the meal, didn't you? <laughs> we, all, we all love a faggot at Christmas, <laughs> lying, lying sheepishly next to the turkey, <laughs> giving you those eyes. <laughs> eat me, eat me, big boy. Like you said, but emails me. I get like a, about five or six emails one after the other yesterday, and seeing the old, and I was like, oh for fuck, oh for fuck, oh for fuck. Oh, bad sake. ones, I. Not, no bad. It's just again, it's the. Uh, you know, it's the old, it's the old COVID, mate. COVID. I'm new up to. Um, so yesterday afternoon was moving. Uh, the last of January, February, March gigs to later in the year because there, there's no way venues are open. And I, I was like, soul destroying. I was talking to one of the boys um, <clears throat> for the townhouse in Hamlin, so we started trying to figure out a new date for that. And I'm just going, you're joking. They went, it's not looking good, man. It's no, we're no, we're not getting anything to know that's going to say we're going to be able to open. And, in February, I was like, fuck. The whispers, the whispers I'm getting is like fucking summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. I mean, even even if, uh, <clears throat> I know you're no, you're, you've, you let your football hooligan days go years ago. You know, I know you've I said never a hooligan, that never a hooligan. I know you've said away for that scene. Once you got a couple of million off money when she sold your shares, you stepped <laughs> away for the scene. And then... Um, Obviously, with Scotland qualifying for the Euros, there's there's no see even if we were to get to like June, uh-huh. and like ten million people had died across the world within like May, Disney Mar, cunts are like pubs are open, like there's no way Scotland's going to be at a European uh, finals and the country can't open. So whatever the day, the government's got until May to get things opened up again. Otherwise, the people will just do it themselves. Do you know what I mean? How good, how, how mental would that be? No good if Scotland were actually fucking looking to win and we all couldn't go to celebrate. Oh, how That, that would just be Scotland. That, no, but that would just be like the luck of the Scots, wouldn't it? You know, we're fantastic inventors. <clears throat> We've invented the world. But come our, day, right, in fo- come our day in football, we're Shut not allowed down. out to party. Shut lock, down. Lock, lock. I, I imagine we'd... Move out the window, boys. Come on, the winners. There'd be riots in the streets, you know? But anyway, so I right, it's uh, it's just it's just one of the days, mate, where you're going. And also, I feel because I, I uh, I've kind of like you, man. Do you know what I mean like I like um, I like building a relationship with the venues mostly because one, see, the, when I go to a venue to do a gig, like a tour show, see if they're nice to me. And I don't mean like give you stuff. I just mean like look after you. Because there's some venues I've been to, like Hull Truck, which you fucking shower of cunts. And other okay. ones you go and like. They're just they're just nice to you, right? It's not like I mean, I'm, the way it should be. I, I'm not a diva. Like I don't go. I want blue M and M's and uh, three uh, Somalian pirates in my room. Like I don't ever ask. For, I just ask for. I just ask <laughs> for Somali water. Pirates. I ask for water and a can of coke. That's what I ask for, right? And even when you get that, I'm going. That's that's all I want. I just need some mm-hmm. water for the station. Anyway, so when you go in, they're just nice to you. I always think, right? Do you know what? I'll definitely come back here again. And sometimes other theaters. I'll ask you to bring the show there. And I go, no, I'm just sticking to the ones I like because they look after me and they're nice people. Yeah. So when you're speaking to them going, you know, like getting stuff, like for example, I was maybe in Inverness in March and it's now getting pushed back to September, right? Fucking hell. And because I know the woman quite well, because I've, I've been going up to Inverness for maybe like five years now. And I'm going... Is that the lemon tree or something? Like that, or what, what no, that's up in or... Aberdeen, which again oh, right, right. is going to get pushed back to October, believe it or not. Uh, anyway, so I'm talking to a woman, I'm like, you're forgetting that people have lost their jobs. I mean, she's like, well, even if we could open in January, we've not got the staff anymore. And I was like, as people had to leave, she's like, people had to leave because we had to make people redundant and people left because they, they couldn't live on the, the, the furloughed scheme. So they had to go and try and find a new job. So we need to recruit again and we don't know how many people are going to recruit. And I'm like, fuck's sake, man. Even things like that that I hadn't even Aye. thought about. I just thought venues were like, right, you're open, right? Everybody in, they're going, you don't even have the staff now to fucking staff a damn thing. Yep. So it's got to be. So yesterday was one of those days. So hopefully we can get things 
penciled in soon. But like you, mate, I think come the summer it'll all be done, and hopefully it's kind of back to some kind of some kind of normality as to what it used to be. I was thinking about the jag hanging all that and ro- rolling it out. Here come the pu- aye, well, right. eh? the fuck, hey, the old man. The last the time you done that, it was all flood stuff. It was kicking about, wasn't it? I so know. what happens if something like floodamites or something? <laughs> you know, like there's a fucking mad flamingo, flamingo, flamingo pandemic after the they roll out the jag. But that's what I'm talking about. You know, like just cunts fucking lamb raging. It's the we I I I know it's listen I know it's horrible and if you think that we say things to hurt people now you shouldn't be listening to this show but see when it's like a wee thumb it's like a tip of a thumb that looks like it try to grow and then just stop or it's growing. like a pinky in a thumb they uh, get that we can a dual thing I just take it off man see if I was a flitter like take it off for the stump no you wouldn't because every yeah, bit of course you would as as you. What are you like fucking? How'd you press like an elevator door if you've never got any pinky thing? Use your fucking stump, mate. Boom. Or do you know what your other hand? Or your nose? Fuck. Aye. Fucking heed it, mate. Sharpen your nose to a point of fucking scalp. Push fucking away. Oh, fucking heed button. Hit the left number. I love it. I love that that's the first thing you think of if you were a flood. How would I push the fucking left button? Like, mate, maybe I was like, how do you tie your shoelaces or do your trousers up? How do you push that? So, do- doctor. Doctor, <laughs> are you telling me I need to heed butt the fucking lift now? Fair enough, Doctor. Fucking let my wee finger out. Boom. It sounds like a fucking mad Channel 5 drama. Fled in a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Only on five. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's heed butted 13, man. He's going to be raging when he gets out the rang flare. <laughs> he's heed butted 10, 11 and 12. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck it a loaf on this boy, man. The way he's getting the right flare. I used to talk he about was like, <laughs> cut heat. I'll fucking go to any floor I want. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, big man, fucking Bosch, I live in for that. For a, for a not you in the back. If I had a fist, I'd fucking rattle you, you poof. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking at my wee horn? Is that what you're looking at? <laughs> fucking look at this, mate. Look at you, look at my wee horn. I bet you think, bet you think yourself, I'd love that I want to that guy. Well, you're getting nothing. You're getting nothing. You're getting a fucking slap. With a claw. <laughs> Standing in the left, the guy going, If any one of you asks to see my rhythm stick, I swear to God, I'm going to fucking kick off out here. <laughs> I might have teeny horns, but I'm a size 12, yeah, fucking I, I might have wee horns, but you should see the cock on me. I just got to touch it. <laughs> hit me slow, hit me quick, hit me, hit, hit me. me. <laughs> Yeah, one and a half. Imagine that fighting like a flood or a midget or Mate, something. I used, to, I, I, I used to talk about that on stage when I got away to school with like a couple of years above us because like that was the like, when I was at school when I was young, two or three years above you, there was always floods. So it must have just been a thing in like the early eighties where there were no, games- there was a certain period of time when they gave they gave vaccines and pills and that was the side uh, effect. Mate, look at see I, I've said this for years, right? Every single year, they change the, the drugs, or every couple of years, they change the drugs to get you pregnant women, right? See whatever happened in 1984? <clears throat> See, every guy I went to school with, 80% of the guys I went to school with, we were fucking machines. See, by the time we go to high school, we were all six fit, we were all fucking tanks, we all had beer, we were fucking machines. And then when I see Wayne's new, and I'm like, how old are you, sir? Where's your mum? I'm 15, you cunt. I'm like, mate, why are you four foot? What's happening with all these and, and why do you look like a girl or a boy? And it's just fucking madness. That's right. And how are you wearing fucking shorts <laughs> in the dead of winter, you wee prick? <laughs> look, you're, you're cutting out now. You're clipping. Your mic's that loud. That's what's happening here today. Is it? Shouting and bawling at me. But I, so I used to talk about this that? guy who see, he used to get in fights because obviously he obviously had anger issues, right? Because he's, he was Of course flip. you had. Because ex- you're raging. I imagine if you came to life. a scheme of family, right, you're getting... So he, see, he used to fight all the time, but he used to line them up with a good hand and then smash them with a wee flipper because there was no feeling in it. <laughs> so he'd, he'd line you up like that and then you just see this wee hung go fucking shiklaki. Aye? That fucking... This guy's got three horns, man. Where'd that come from? The thing about it is, but it would need to be like a poke in the eye because I can't imagine a hook for a wee claw would be good because you couldn't, Mate. couldn't bring it in. Are you kidding me? See if you had a hand with no feeling in it, it's dead. There's nothing, it's just a bit of stump and flesh. And I lean into you and I smash that across your face. That's going to be fucking agony. Nah, I'd be like, fucking get hit with a chicken drum. It's like, remember you would fight with your mates and some cunt who was a shite bag would punch you like that on the ear and you get a pure uh, red hot uh, ear. Oh, you fucking dick, man. 
But like that. Nah, it'd be good. Let's somebody hitting you with a chicken drumstick. Mate, be getting like smash the chops with a dildo at full force. Fucking hell, we've all been there. They fun, they can't bush. <laughs> My fucking mates, what's going on? Hands- I watched um there was a I don't know if you've seen it, I shared it on the page. It was a obviously a a handy, I don't know what it is, a, a cerebral palsy. What's the guys who've got the right curled up horns? Oh, we are we are going down some fucking dark tunnels today. No, but it? this is like a positive story. <clears throat> so the guy was actually a stand up com- comedian at the dry bar in America somewhere. Aye, aye, what, he's brilliant. He's and got he's, a, he's got the fucking amazing man. Well, see, the, what was the guy's name? I can't remember. Anyway, he's got a full uh, special on Amazon. It's free to watch. If you've got Amazon Prime, he's got kind of long hair. He's like a happy looking dude, but he's got the fucking mad. He holds one mic with his bad horn and his other horn's like fucking Joe Cocker. <laughs> Did you put that on I had cerebral pot? Did you put it on your page or on that hashtag page? Uh, I think I put it on the hashtag page. Yeah, I'll see if I can find it. But, but I was look I was on Amazon last night looking for stuff to watch. Uh and uh, <laughs> what did you have? Did you tip it in the search bar for Lidamites? I actually typed in fucking <laughs> wrestling for Lidamites. <laughs> Against the will of God. <laughs> no, do you know Eddie Peppertone? Eddie Peppertone, no, but I love that. Hey, Eddie Peppertone, man. <laughs> you, mate, you I would, fucking Eddie Peppertone. You would absolutely oh, you love him. You can't do that. I can fucking do anything I want. I'm Eddie Peppertone. <laughs> you would love him, mate. He's, uh, he's brilliant. Uh, American comedian. and um, Eddie Peppertone. What so I watched, a, I watched a documentary about him recently, and it was good. And then I, watched, I hadn't watched his stand-up for a while, so I watched the stand-up. And uh, as I was going through looking for Eddie, that, that guy came up. Uh, and I thought, fucking hell, that must be the thing that Mal shared. And it's no, it's, it's a completely different show. So he's got a full special on nah, Amazon as well. I'm, the, I'm going to watch fuck it. What's the guy's his name, name, man? I mean, I'm trying to find it on your page because it's no on Amazon. It's no on. It's no on Amazon. It's no on. Fucking long haired <laughs> funny horn guy. I mean, talk amongst yourself until I. Uh, right. Well, what I liked about it. it was obviously he was making fun of his disability, right? Uh huh. And making fun that everybody in the crowd were obviously aware of it and he was just disarming them with, with humour on it uh, his name's but Josh also he's, Josh Blue Josh Blue but also what was clever was he's actually his, his thread of jokes was, was was brilliant you know and he was you know he was doing all that callback stuff that you were saying you know all the call. <laughs> but it was you know it was, it was great you know he was talking about a fucking what made me spit out laughing is he went to fucking New York and he hailed a taxi and caught a pigeon <laughs> 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 he's got a wee fucking curled up on. He went taxi and he goes, uh, 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 taxi and caught a pigeon, man. And then he was in, he's in the taxi and he was like, I was fucking asking for direction. And the taxi driver was freaked out because I was still holding the pigeon, man. Do you know, Hank, it's funny because, right, here's the thing he's disabled, right? But that's, mm-hmm. got, no, that's got nothing to do with how good of a comic he is. Mm-hmm. Right, well, so he's he, built his career on it. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> he's making fun of his disability, and what he's saying is funny. Now, yep. when you laugh at that, you're not laughing, going, "Yeah, inch plastic stayed funny." You're like, "No, I no, no. he's funny," and what he's saying is funny. Yep. It's like when people who come on some of the fucking British comedy shows and they are heavily disabled, and I'm like, "Why would you not talk about that?" So now I've got to sit here and go through it's this. The elephant when, in the room. Hi, when you should, you should be like. I make fun of being fat because I'm fat. If I was disabled, I'd make fun of being disabled. Do you mean? And it just makes things. It I think makes it levels things, it. It levels right, it. Not only that, but it then makes it easy to talk about because then you go, you might have a conversation with somebody after about what it's like to be disabled or yeah. through through humour. Whereas people, there, there would have been people who would watch that and go, "That's that's no funny. That's terrible. That's terrible." I, I, see the kind of folk that would get. Uh, they, there you go, and I bet there are folk out there, people who would be um, <laughs> offended by the fact that it's a disabled guy laughing about his disab- disability. So, there, would, there would be people who have the audacity to be offended at that, and it's Aye. absolutely none of their fucking business. Mm-hmm. There'll, be, there'll be people who will go on and say, as a disabled person myself, I don't find this funny. Aye. I've got a blue sticker in my car, and I can park and fucking next to Asda. Shut it. Mate, I've, I've said to you, I've, I don't know if I've told you a story before, when my dad used to fucking fall out his wheelchair. <laughs> My dad used to just fall at his wheelchair. <laughs> How? Because he couldn't st- sit in it? No, you tell us about no, getting him in and out of Asda or whatever. Oh, no, I was screaming at that old woman. Uh, that's, this is your mind with that story. So, 
he always had a blue badge, right? He had a long story short, really bad stroke, and then just fucking deteriorated. So I used to have to run around the car because my dad wouldn't accept it. He was fucked. Like, would not accept it, right? Like, he just couldn't process in his head what had happened to him because it happened so quickly. So he would just open his door and go to put his fucking rubber legs out and just collapse on the flare, right? Now, my dad's built like me. I mean, he's like fucking 20-odd stones. So see getting him up? Forget it, right? So I used to have to park the car and I'd be like, Dad, don't go to the, don't go to the car. Dad, look at me. Don't, don't go to the car. And then have to run, run. And fucking like grab him before he, because he would just oh, don't fucking look. You sell it. <laughs> so one day I'm driving into fucking uh, Tesco in Rutherglen, where he lived at the time. And this, so I'd never had the blue badge on, right? Because I had my car. So I drives in and uh, I'm getting him out. Now he's a fucking sack of potatoes, right? And this old woman walks past, like a pensioner, like one of these kind of West End fucking. Aye. You know, thinks she's something special, right? Her man got a man walked his whole rails, life. Hunting rails, and everything. Never worked a day in her fucking life, but her man's got a lot of money and thinks that she's something important, right? One of the old bits. She gives him up the arse every once a month exactly. and keeps Just him to happy. Keep it sweet. She's no daft, do you know what I mean? Aye. And uh, she knows where she her bread's bought. the secretary for 30 years, but she'll let that slide because she likes her big house in the holidays. Oh, of course, in of course. One of the women. No, it's no the right time to divorce you. <laughs> no, exactly. Wait till he's on the deathbed and then he can't fight back and then fucking clean out. Then right? she'll be exactly. shagging the gardener. You know what I mean? Get the, the house and kill my comb that she's always wanted. So she's walking past and she went, excuse me, excuse me. And I went like, I didn't actually think she was talking to me because I'm going. You deal with your dad. No, you know, sometimes when you hear people shout and you, and you don't react because you're like, there's nobody they can be talking to me because I'm not doing anything mm -hmm. wrong. It's like, it's good. It's good. You don't have a badge. You, you don't have a blue badge. You're partner. And I'm standing with him, like sliding this human fucking sack into a wheelchair. And I was like, mm -hmm. he's a fucking cripple. I just look, he's fucked. I was like, I was like, tell you you're fucked, dad. And my dad picked up like, one of his jelly legs and shook his leg, went, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went into the shop, man. So once he... Uh, Passing their own aisle and all that. Mate, I, I had to go to the manager because, again, like, see when people have really severe strokes, it's amazing the things that they just hold on to, right? They become really important. So, like, going to this Tesco was really important to him. I don't know why. I would go to other shops and they would fucking kick off. And I'd be like, fuck's sake. So I'd have to go to this one supermarket. And when we went in, there was like a woman who was a very nice woman, right? But she was just, uh, so she would always come over and be like, welcome to Tesco. Oh, how's your, and she, every time she would say, you know, we've got mobility scooters if your father would like to use one of them. He's like, oh, all right. And I'm like, no, no way. No way. <laughs> you I'll push your axe out. Mate, so one time he's pure kicking off, and I was like, fine. I went, look, you're going to, it's your responsibility. Gets in the fucking mobility skirt and just drove straight into the fag kiosk. So he went in the fucking, <laughs> just bounced off the fag kiosk, man. He's last year. <laughs> I was like, get back in the chair, you old crap. <laughs> then once he just fucking, so he's walking, right? He's like, I want to walk. I went, you can't walk, dad, get in the chair. I want to walk. So he gets in the sticks. So I'm walking behind him with his chair, like some funeral procession, right? And then he just, he obviously realizes his body can't eat date anymore. So he just lies down on the floor and just go, he just slowly kind of crumpled in. I went, Dad, Dad, try to scoop him. Just laid down the chair. And I was like, Oh, but I, that woman, mate, yeah, there's no blue badge. I was like, He's fucked, man. Like, you can clearly see he's fucked. This I, isn't I, some double act. I know. I mean, that job's worth there. But you should have said to her, Right, I tell you what, you hod him and I'll go and move the motor. You take him in the Tesco's and I'll move the motor. Ah, I should have been off. Ah, you, you just want to be one and not Everybody out, has you? met old women like that, like you said, the, the barber's really with the sleeves cut off. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes they've got a wee, a wee headband on. Lots of they're just back for horse riding, they've not even got a horse. Aye, exactly, the, the jaw pulls in the well, he's blonde hair, getting out of a Range Rover, do you know what I mean? And, and, and that's thing. I'll just go, no, beyond Foxy. Like no, beyond Foxy. Fox, maybe Foxy to right. a year ago, but no, beyond right, that, right. just a cunt now. Again, got to Tesco or Morrison's or Asda, but they take a Martin Spencer's bag with them. That kind of woman. Mm -hmm. I mean, put and some the short. questions we, Yes. <laughs> yes, just, well, like, actually, uh, we're going to summer in, uh, in Lyon this year. Yes, I you know. Fucking Uh Must be difficult, mate, or that kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's, you know, on a serious note, Fucking, hey, you know, seeing your dad not, deteriorate hey, and then try to we're fucking. Not here. We're not here for serious notes, right? We're not uh, here for serious Let's laugh at me. Let's laugh at me. Let's, uh, let's talk about Margaret Keenan. Who's that? Who's that, mate? Who's I thought she? you were going to talk about Margaret. Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, my, my, my Maggie. 
Your Majesty. No, Margaret Kidman. Margaret Kidman, mate. Who's that? <laughs> Margaret Keenan is a pioneer, mate. She's the first old cow that's had the vaccine. Oh, right, Maria, tell me about that this morning, I 90 Nin- year old or something. 91 she is next week. No, well, she's here's my question. Her win. Why the fuck are we getting her a jag? Let her go. Let her go, man. No. 91. She might have enough. She might have enough 10 years in her. Who's paying for that? You? But listen to you as if you're paying for it. Who's paying right, exactly, for it? That's what I'm asking you. Who's paying for it? You? We can't question the ill, the invalid, the people um, claiming benefits. It's the bankers and all She's that. She's not claiming benefits. She's in a care home. She's 91 year old. Let, let her, her go. Let her dance. Let her <laughs> dance. <laughs> would, you, would you think they're going to gear the jag and she'll suddenly be up fucking, sign me up for Strictly. <laughs> oh, mad, you <laughs> They'll still be sitting in the rain. Like about the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like why the inflatable fucking things they got. I feel like a new woman again. How do you, how do you feel, Margaret, <laughs> after receiving the vaccine? It just starts foaming at the mouth. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Margaret to turn into a zombie. <laughs> Step away from the light, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to be the first one to get it. But again, well, see, 91, well, she knows does. herself. She knows herself. She's had her time. What happens, happens. Is she, is she lucid? Is she kicking about normal or is she just like a fucking lying in the bed with a straw? I don't know, mate. I don't know. Again, I've not, I've not seen any videos. I've only seen the name and a picture. So I don't even know if she had it. It could be fucking, it could be conspiracy theories again. I don't know. He, here's the thing about the, the vaccine as well. So they're giving it to the elderly who they're saying is the most vulnerable and then they're giving it to frontline. Uh-huh. Surely they don't want the frontline to die because they're looking after everybody. They are important. Or is that a show of, listen, this vaccine's safe. So so much safe, we're going to get to a frontline who are taking care of business. I, I don't, so, I don't, there's, there's definitely not, see how everyone who's saying like, uh, you know, they're putting computer chip in, is not going, that's like oh, bollocks. That's not the size of fucking Mac Pro that squeezed into a wee <laughs> fucking needle. What are you on about, Franco? <laughs> there's na- there's, I imagine the vaccine is either the vaccine is a vaccine or it's just water. It's no real. Well, there was another YouTube video. It's, or all, it's all in our heads. It was like, it was like a, a, 60, a, a 1960s uh, cloned fetus. Mm-hmm. That's where they've took the cells for it and other what? bits and bobs. Aye. Inside the vaccine, it's uh, from a, an aborted fetus. What the fuck? One man? of the main, for the DNA strain in it, is apparently. If you want to YouTube, like, like I don't know what to believe anymore. I, I'll believe. I don't. Here's the thing, mate. I generally, and I know that people are like, oh, you should be involved and you should hold opinions. I honestly do not care. If they say to me, you need to come into your local hospital, we're going to give you 16 injections and take all your toes off with a saw, but in two months you can go back to doing stand-up comedy. I'd be like, do whatever Geezer. the fuck you want to me. I don't care. But then, I Scott, really don't then care. What, what about if you're fucking, your semen is pausing and you fucking give, give birth to a way and it's got six arms or something? Yeah, well, fucking cool. You, you probably got a bit of money at it. That's heavy duty, man. Mate, now, so what are what you, th- you mean? I had that thought as well, <laughs> where they're going to sterilize a, 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 a generation. But as long as you can get gigging, you're fine with that. Well, I mean, see, see if the option right now is. For me to have children or never for the rest of my life to do live stand up comedy. Looking after number one. Mate, you're telling me that before you had the wains, if somebody said to you, right, listen, I'm going to give you a jag. Now, the chance is it's 50 50. If I give you this jag, you might never have kids, but you'll be able to continue to be a DJ. Or I don't give you the jag. You can never be a DJ or create music, but you're going to have two wains. Guess what? You and Maria would be sitting in that house with hunters of chickens and dogs and they no, wains. No, no. I You're believe the children shite. are the future. You're full of utter shite. Listen, I guess this is, I'm, this I'm, is, I'm aye, at a point in my life no, where no. I don't need to worry about that. I've spawned. Aye, this is the man who, my, let's my not remember. just like a listen, fucking hairy puss. Hang listen, in there, you puss. <laughs> the man who said, listen, one week ago, uh, dear listeners, that him and his wife think about punching fuck out their wings. So don't you sit there and tell me you're the listen. doting father. <laughs> I don't want to lie to you. They get to a certain <laughs> age where you do fantasize about punching them square in the fucking face. Well, what are you going to do now, mate, in a world of COVID where they're going to be living at home until they're in their 30s? Mental. We're already laying the ground rules down for him who's turning 18 next year. Oh, 
mate. That'll be a knock on, shop your house. If you don't have a job or a part time job, at least for your 18, you get no Wi Fi. I'm still paying your phone contract, no gain oh. you any money. You're no lying up playing your fucking Call of Duty <laughs> to four in the morning. Get him, get him working on the house, man. Get him building that extension. Get him fucking mucking out the he animals. Says, he says he wants to get at least minimum wage per hour at slave labour. <laughs> but it's no because <laughs> he's getting his house for free. He's getting his he's Wi-Fi. Paid. He's getting his phone paid. Do you know what I mean? I mean, they don't see that. They just see that. That's no. a given. That's a problem. It's a problem with Wednesdays days. So Wednesdays we probably days, all, We probably all should be fucking... No, euthanized. We should all be sterilized then. There's enough Bolt people gun, in the world. Bolt gun, Bolt gun, Bolt gun the fucking lawyers, mate. Yeah, I, just that... want, I just want the vaccine. Also, the interesting thing, I never realized that you, you've got to get two injections. I thought it was just one bag. Of so many weeks apart. But here's two the thing. Weeks. Fucking Wuhan's no had a fucking vaccine and they're all back to normal. Well, they I mean, fucking I... started. Wait, wait, where's the logic? And why in the whole of the world is the UK the first folk to go, all right, vaccine, let's go. Mate, I don't know. Again, everything just everything falls into the conspiracy theories because there's no trust in there's the no government. trust in government. There's no trust in, in global politics. There's no trust in it. There's no trust in the media. You don't. I don't believe anything that the BBC says. There's no trust in, it, and that's the worrying thing. And it, it's not about it's not about the argument going. Oh, it's because we're we've got so much information now. No, that's pish. There's no there's no trust in anybody. What about this? I know. Out of all the world, why does Scotland take things and fucking amp it up even more? Because that's like, just Sturgeon's way. That's I Sturgeon's know, way. even before Sturgeon, like, uh, remember when council tax came out? We were the first folk to do it. Why? No, on this, I guarantee you, when the go UK's lined up for the first folk to do it, I bet you Scotland's the one that go, right, we'll go first and we'll give everybody two doses because we're fucking mental. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, think, I think it is going to England first. <laughs> I think it just another great. They're uh-huh. they're bringing in uh, changing laws in Airbnb right. uh, for short term leases and all that heavy uh-huh. taxing and all that. Uh-huh. Who's the first country to take that on board? <clears throat> Scotland. Scotland. But Sturgeon's been saying that for for a while now. But they're firing up hotels left, right, and centre all over Glasgow, all over fucking Scotland. Of course, mate, because they don't they don't have a way yet to uh, mate. How many times have I said to you everything's about money? Right, even, I know. even now, like the, everything that's happened with COVID, I really do think it's damaged the SNP. I really do think it's damaged Chance Independence because people are looking at it completely differently now. And like you said, the if whole, you were ruling the world, you're making an ass of it. Mate, I, I was sitting there all night, right? Because I'm at the point now where, and I've said to you over the last couple of months, I am honestly sick at how much money I, that we're paying in rent, right? And see, before when I was all doing okay for money, even then I thought it was expensive. See now that. Literally, like I'm, every penny is you know, a prisoner. Now. I I really did scrape by just to pay my half of the rent, right? So, I was well. We, me and the missus, are looking at other flats, maybe further out, or you know, down no downsizing because we need the space. But looking and also, at, you've, you you probably need to stay geographically near Edinburgh because your missus works in Edinburgh. She's based in Edinburgh, no? Ah, uh, she what? But just as long as she can travel in. So we're starting to look at places, right? And obviously, the the price of renting has dropped a wee bit in the last couple of months. But a lot of that is due to everybody who is um, a lot of Airbnb places are selling up, right? Because they're all over. Line empty, hi. Huh? Mate, see the amount of property in this city is un that is available. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable, and I'm going like something has to be done for rent control, or something has to be done to to control the flow. But at the same side of that, you can't stop independent business, independent wealth. If people, for example, want to have Airbnbs, you can't stop them doing it. You also can't force people into a position where you're going, well, having somebody uh, going and staying in an Airbnb is bad, but going and staying in a fucking £400 a night hotel is great because that hotel has staff that people are going, no, but what you're doing is you're saying to me, I can't afford that. So that's why that's why a lot of people go to Airbnb because it is cheaper. Because it, uh, that's why it was so successful. It was a backlash to crazy hotel prices. Which haven't changed, which haven't changed. Like, see, whenever well, I would... They did for a while. I mean, what made me realise how powerful Airbnb was when, I don't know if you noticed it, but feel it, like any hotel, it was just like 100 quid a night, no fluctuation. Hotels, over the last couple of years, hotel prices fluctuate. Now, oh. I've never, ever been aware of that. Depending on what's on... What's happening? 
you can get super cheap hotel prices and then super dear ones. Let's say, for instance, fucking Mariah Carey's playing the SECC, all the hotels, t- fucking rates go double. Aye, but, mate, that even kind that, of shit. but even that's taking the pistol. You could go and stay in a hotel that's £50 a night, right, and say, like, you know, I don't know, Ardrossan, right? You're, you're taking the family Ardrossan and it's £50 a night. breakfast because there's not one hotel here. £50 a night, right? But then suddenly the 4th of July is on, and it's marching season, it's fucking £300 a night, you know what I mean? £16.90 a night. I think the reason why your Airbnbs have been so successful is because you always advertise on it, no blacks, no Irish, no dogs. So that gives you a certain time. <laughs> That's when you get the right clientele in. You know, one you can sit down and have a good drink with. But even, like you're saying, mate, they, they went from supporting Airbnb or, or that kind of system, do you know what I mean? And then suddenly they all changed their, their back on it. Like, for example, remember a couple of years ago when the government was like, everybody buy a diesel car, diesel cars. Aye, aye. And now they're like, diesel cars are killing you. We'll never sell it. And like, make up your fucking mind. And that is all because somebody for the diesel car companies greasing their pockets. So aye. somebody new for the hotel industry is going, listen, get doing heavy on Airbnbs, man. Tax the fuckers. And that well, plays into the narrative of going, you can't afford to buy your first home, can you? No, well, there's people out here who have got four homes and they have three of them on Airbnb. That's no... What's that got to do, man? How about See, we change that to go, what about affordable housing? You know? Uh, well, I Gibson won't for Prime the Minister. Money, vote, vote, vote Gibble. the money into building new houses. But there you go. See exactly. what you're saying about Diesel more. It goes back further than that. They went like that. <laughs> Unleaded's the way to go. Yeah, they went like that. <laughs> they went like that. They went like that. Hey. Imagine there, was an, imagine there was an MP. <laughs> uh, we, we, we go, I give way to my right honourable gentleman from uh, from the three tunes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> my constituents are like, yeah, how about unleaded? <laughs> I've gave it. What about that? And they're like, what? And I was like, what? And they were like, what? And I was like, what? You know what I mean? I was like, what? No, like, what? And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All in favour? Aye. Oh, aye. aye. Motion aye. passed. <laughs> Motion passed. Cheers, Franco. Aye. Alan, get you one in the bar. No, th- sure, no, there is somebody like that fucking, the lesbian, the Mario lassie. And I was like, Adam, I might be doing in the House of Parliament, but I've got a wee suit on and I like fannies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That I mean, <laughs> never has anybody done a Mary Black impersonation of, yeah. I'm very schemes, man, but don't think I'll knock a brood in the APUs and wreck every one of your fannies. <laughs> I might have a wee suit on, but I listen to the GBX and get mad with it like every other can. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that right, boys. I'll see you doing so hard tonight, that I mean, you fucking cheeky wee bastard. <laughs> aye. And you're right, oh, I've got a wee tattoo next to my fanny. And you're right again, it is a wee devil giving you the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an independent devil in an independent <laughs> Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got an independent dolphin in my ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, bet you for, I bet you for about a year and a half, all the Tory MPs thought she was a wee guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Cranky. <laughs> Something oh, up there man. in Scotland, they're all fierce midgets. <laughs> <laughs> fierce midgets? That'd be a good name for a band. <laughs> the fierce midgets. The fierce midgets. <laughs> it need to be angry fucking, like, fucking... Like heavy rock metal, heavy metal. Aye, but you'd have to just do cover versions of things like Avril Lavigne. He said he's a scary <laughs> boy. <laughs> 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 I'm a fierce midget. <laughs> See, when I was at school, I worked in uh, HMV in Brayhead, right, for like a couple of months. And, what year? Uh, oh, years. I mean, I was at school, still at high school, so years ago, man, right? I might even be like 15, 16, something like that. Just think if you're selling my records, you know what I mean? Just in there. But, well, I, I wanted in the stockroom, right? So I did one day in the floor and I deliberately fucked up all the DVDs. And then the guy's like, um, I, I think maybe the stockroom would be good for you. And I was like, yes. So, because I just, I hate dealing with public, right? In the stockroom, but it was all like fucking hierarchy. So, like, the guys who'd been in HMV for like 20 years, right? And, and but they all walked about as if like yeah I've been here twenty years I'm going man that's so sad that's right, put a gun that's really sad. just why don't you want an actual show so he was on heavy metal and like for there was a rotor system up for who got to play music during the day right so they got it for an hour at a time and he's like do you like metal and I went I says man I, I like most music he went so that's a no then I went I don't know any, but I've never listened to 
heavy metals. I don't know. He's like, what kind of stuff are you into? And I went, just, you know, just the classics, you know, like uh, you know, Mariah, uh, you know, <laughs> Aqua, Aqua Baby, you know, just the usual, the classics, you know. So he played this album that was a heavy metal band doing covers at ABBA. And, mate, Fuck me. it was unreal, man. Honestly, it was unreal. Of it course was it was unreal, because he's too, yeah. too busy winching up the back. Take it. No, I was just fingering his bum. It was amazing. It was brilliant. I'm like, because it came Tom on, I was like... through the beards. I said, that sounds a wee bit like Abba. And he went like, it is Abba, man. And it's just pure fucking, mamma mia. Oh. Like, oh, it is Abba, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it is Abba, brother. <laughs> I'll poke your fart away, mamma mia, you death linger. Do you, do you go, mamma mia? <laughs> I bet you had the fucking, no, the wristbands, the leather wristbands with the studs on it and all they that. They all do, mate. They all do. What about that? <laughs> when they, when they, <laughs> Where's the new Phil Collins album? It's when, they, <laughs> when they come out as a heavy metal fan, they get all that sent in the post. <laughs> it's the, it was the short, spiky, fucking some 41 hairstyle that they all had. They fucking big like dog collar wristbands and then he would cut the sleeves off his t-shirt. Iron Maiden. Like, Go to be Iron Maiden or something like that. Iron Maiden. I like Iron Maiden. Also, it's metal that, that <laughs> the, the lead guy for Iron Maiden is fucking a pilot. I, Bruce Dickinson. But it, man, what you know, a name, man. fly them all their gigs and all that. That's, but imagine, but like, that, to me, is pure Tory. You know, it's like Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden. Oh, wait a minute. He's that rock and roll. He's flying the fucking tooth plane. He just that loves flying so planes. Rock and roll. No, he it's loves so flying planes. And roll. Mate, it's like a cunt of a fucking Pink Floyd who, I don't know what he does, the fucking drummer. He's some mad fucking cab freak or something. And I'm going... You're no rock and roll, mate. You might be fucking... dragging clean out your ball bag and shooting prostitutes. <laughs> shooting prostitutes. Here, what's his face? Um, fucking, who's the, who's the guy? John Travolta flies his out. He's another what, gigs fucking cunt. <laughs> I, I'd love to be able to fly a plane. Imagine flying your own plane. I've done a few flying lessons, look. Like... Oh my, my god, no, listen, you know what? what Sums up what, the fucking money you've wasted over the years. No, no, it was like I think it was for my 21st birthday lesson. Uh, birthday, I got a flying lesson. No, at the time they were like 50 quid or 100 quid. Was this a flying was, lesson? Were you going like the, the military branch or like the lodge? Uh, no, up to Prestwick Airport, and it was like a wee fucking chestnut or whatever it was. One of the wee teeny things, a wee Cessna. Cessna. A wee chestnut. A wee chestnut. Let me take, let me, <laughs> let me take the chestnut up for a wee... wee talk. Is that Cessna, son? Aye, Cessna, chestnut. <laughs> Fucking conkers. What? Um, and, and I also... My mate... No, sorry, my dad's mate... Oh, a a, a microglider. Mi micro it's a micro microglider, it's called. It was basically a hand glider with an engine in the back, and you could sit two folk in it. I'm flying about. <laughs> running gear across the border. Uh, so I did, I did all that, <laughs> smuggling gear for a winning out of the dressing. <laughs> and and when, it, when, I, when I done that, it was it really fucking blew my mind. But I could not, no way would I ever do that now. The fear I would have would be unbelievable. But why, I was why, do think, daft. why do you think you've became so fearful as you've got older? Too many bad experiences in flights, I think. Oh, and do you think it's the way, do you don't? You, you realise what you've got to lose you. as you get older. I've got a you know, I've got that I've got that train track up the loft. That is, that would, I'd miss that. <laughs> I've got the wife and the two wins. It'd be hard to go. I but in saying that, it doesn't stop you eating yourself into a very slow grave. <laughs> all last all, all this week, all last week, in fact, I stopped alcohol. Don't believe you for a minute, mate. I if stopped you stopped, meat. if you stopped drinking alcohol for a week, you would die. Your body would shut no, down. No. I had no alcohol. For you've a been full seven days. You've been drinking fucking Paco Rabanne at the back of the field, <laughs> <that you've had. laughs> I've just okay. been drinking tops up the back of the farm. I had an old fucking tin of tops. I was just in the cage. <laughs> just with a towel over it, inhaling the fumes, man. I'll have a Paco Rabanne and Coke, please. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, vodka, a vodka lime. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's got a bottle of Burberry for his Christmas. I, I told it. <laughs> I know anybody you've known. I never even got a squish at it, Dad. Sorry, wee man. It's got a great bottle. Put it in yourself. Yeah, fair as uh, a connoisseur. I honestly <laughs> right, did. So you nae booze? For a week. Me and the missus, right, she could right. do things like that, nae bother, right? Because she only boozed when she met me. So, nae alcohol for a few week and no red meat. Actually, no meat at all. Lies. All with fish meat. Not listen. Wait, so you'd fish? Aye, but that doesn't count. Red meat, basically. <laughs> right, so I, I also went, I still got to be at and get my bloods done. Left some piss at the fucking doctors. 
Um, and my blood count is, and I've been doing eight pills. My blood count's doing one two eight over ninety, which is fucking way down, man. So that means you can go back on the meat again. So this so Friday, double, we're double going steak daft. We're going <laughs> fucking ribeyes, ribeye sandwiches. Two ribeyes with a ribeye in the middle of it. <laughs> but no, I mean, so, but oh, what I was going to say to you is, just for no drinking for a full week, mm-hmm. I honestly feel clarity. And it's a bizarre feeling. How much were you boozing before, though? I'd Every say, night, I say about three bottles of beer a night, no a lot, and then obviously the week, well, and a few bottles of wine and all, and then at the weekend, maybe a fucking couple of hoffs. <laughs> yeah, fucking lying cunt. We both of us were brutally hungover on Saturday, there, man. That's one of the worst hangovers I've had since the last bad hangover. Since the last one, you said you weren't going to do it. Do you know what? It was like uh, one of the ones where. My body felt completely fine, but my head was like it was in a vice and I couldn't shake the headache the whole day, man. That's horrible, isn't it? The booze headaches, man. And then because obviously my head exploded years ago, I always panic when it's a really bad headache. I'm oh, like, right, right. my head's going to blow up again. Fuck's sake. But it was brutal, man. She was doing the one where like, she couldn't even have a phone on, had to like, hide under covers because the light, man, like, it was just right. too much. So I was like, oh, what What the fuck were we drinking? See, the older you get and all, the hangovers are worse, man. I was, do you know what I mean? I was, Thinking about that at the weekend, I'm going, remember like when you were young and you would just fucking, it would just wash off you, man. Right, what are off a duck's back? Day. I know. Do you want to do some questions? Aye. We've got some, we've got some good questions, actually. Um, this, uh, we've obviously gone to the uh, Facebook page for this one. Um, so some of these questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got hilarity in the corner. Can I just come... Right, I'll let you do your intro. No, no, go on, you go. I'm the first question. On you I go. I just opened the actual fucking post. Right. And Jordan Kyle, I'm 100% behind you. He's asked, when is Scott going to stop fucking the heroes about? I knew, I knew you were going to read that out. I knew you were going to read that out. <laughs> you're pitching, you're posting pictures of all the fucking... Pictures of you when you're a young, hot, skinny ride. Oh, here, yeah, mate. These are gone, 14, mate. Get man. You, sir. Do you know, it's, it's Is that quite. You're 14, you looked about 25. 14, I know. It's quite sad to think that I peaked at 14. And here's the thing, right? And see, he didn't four... ride in you. You didn't ride in days, days and days with that fucking look. See, at 14, I wasn't riding at 14, right? I know some boys were. Bet you did, like, did you have a good bit of pubes about you because you had a fucking beard? Made a full fucking dangler on me. Oh, that's brilliant, man. Right, here's the thing, but. See, at 14, I was a handsome boy, right? Now, see, on that holiday, I was hanging about with two older guys, right? 18 uh-huh. and 19, because they thought I was 18, right? Mate, I'm not going to lie to you. See, every time we went out at night, any of the bars... They pumped you out of the arse. The women that were ruining me was terrifying. Beautiful, beautiful. But I had no idea. I never done anything. I, I never I never got off with one. None. You, you were their puppy. They used because you I never knew it. Because I never knew what he did. No. See, if I had... The mindset now and that 14 year old body, I'd be fucking doing damage, man. But at that time, I was just like, Yes, hi, how you doing? I am Scott, I am 14. They'd be like, Okay, what? I'll have a beer, I'll have a beer. For, for, <laughs> 14, not mate. See, one night I did 21 tequila slammers in a row at 14. 14 came home, Jesus right? Christ. In the apartment with my mom and my stepdad, there was one tiny wee rug in the apartment and I spewed all over the rug. And I remember my mum getting up and my mum was like, to me, What the fuck? And I, I remember saying to her, I'm so sorry, but we need to deal with this tomorrow. Please, I'm dying. And my mom took me in the toilet, like gave me water and all that, and just nursed me through the night. And then the next day, never said anything to me, right? The classics say nothing. So I was shaking myself the whole day and then came over to me by the pool and went, right, talk me through exactly what happened when you left me last night to when you go home. Why is there blood all over your pants? Yeah. <laughs> so I just said to you, I just, I was like, mom, I had 21 to kill. She went, are you joking me? I had 21 like, tequilas and went out with two male gigolos. And, uh, and I don't remember that thing, but it's so I don't long. know. <laughs> <laughs> 21 tequila slammers, mate. 21 but tequila slammers. See, honestly, at 14, I was a handsome boy, man. A mate, handsome boy. You know, you know I had a wee thing for you when you had that wee Nazi hat on. I know right? you I did. I thought that know. was a good picture. I know. But that other one, were you at 14? Yeah. Oh, you're you're, a, you're mean, a fucking, you're a lady slayer. I was like to the missy, went, you fancy me at 14, then you should be like, no, I'm not pedo. And I went, look, admit it, it's me now. So you did, she went like, you were a good little boy. I went like, pedo. <laughs> do, you want to know, do you want to know even the best thing about that picture? Right? See, underneath the table, obviously you can't see my legs. 
Mate, I'm wearing white jeans. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> white jeans. On holiday, mate. Fuck. Imagine that. Well, Imagine that, you're that like handsome boy. Holiday, you can get away with shit like that on holiday. Exactly. Yeah. I had a nice blue tap on, white jeans, black shoes, out fucking slaying it. But there is clothes that you can wear only in holiday. I'd say white jeans, with a wee bit of tan, you could possibly pull that off. There's another one, when I was young, don't ask me why, it white was like one of these fucking chains, it was right tight, and uh-huh. it was like made up of corals or something. <laughs> I don't know if it was the gayest thing I've ever I could imagine you wearing I that. Wore it, I wore it a full holiday, it fucking sat just... Above my Adam's apple, it was rancid. Are we and joker? Get pictures. Aye, but I was young. I was maybe like fucking 13, 14. <laughs> I, I was young, like mate. I was 28, 29. A lot like some cunt off a desert island. But I thought it was the coolest thing going, man. We've all, surely everybody's done it where you've been in holiday and you've gone to like pack your case and your missus went, what are you doing? Pack my case, man. There's no way you're taking any of that back, can we? Uh, you don't need and you to leave like. You leave like the luminous green t-shirt or the fucking Aye. shite shorts you got out of Asda. You just leave all that in the room. I've done that before, just left stuff in the room. I've never done that. No. No. You take no all the shitey pre-mark clays, I always come back with mere shit that I don't need. No, I don't mean that. I mean like, you know, sometimes you go to like pre-mark or you go to like a shite shop and you just buy shite clays summer for stuff. holiday. Aye, right. summer stuff. That's not coming here, mate. No, obviously all the fake stuff you bought in the bazaar in Turkey, you're bringing that back. Aye. Leave Albert all the starts and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Albert spelt with two L's. <laughs> <laughs> Just a picture of him like that. You're back, puffing away. <laughs> him and uh, Bob Marley on a beach still. <laughs> <laughs> holidays, man. That holiday was mental at 14. Oh, that's such a mess, man. Such but a anyway, mess. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway, right, so this. rolling pie. Do you know what? I'm going to have a rolling pie. And not only that, I'm going to film it and I'm going to, up, it, and I'm aye, going to upload it. Aye. And here, I'm, I'm telling you right now, as a friend, right? As a friend. And to the heroes listening, not to the council scumbags, you can go fuck yourselves, but to everybody else, I will, give an, I will give an honest review of this rolling pie. Don't think I'm just going to eat this and go, oh, it's amazing. I will give you an honest review of the rolling pie. Film now, it and get it up on the video. Here's my uh, questions. Patreon. Here's my questions. Do I go to Greg's or do I go to an independent baker's? Uh, right off the beaten track, we independent baker's. Right, because I know exactly the one I'm going to go to, right? right. Hot do roll I, pie, needs hot, to be butter. No, do, do I ask for a, roll, a buttered roll and a pie and then build it myself or do I ask them for a roll and pie? For the full experience, ask them, because if there's no vice in it, they'll be like, what, are you sure? Because I don't, go, I don't think roll, it exists in Edinburgh. Pie, can you stick a hot pie in that? And that's part of the fun. Either they're cool with it, they know it's a thing, or they go, what? And then right. you say, can you put some tomato sauce and brown sauce in that for us and all, please? D- no double, mate. Come on. Well, whatever's your fan- whatever tickles your fancy, the important bit is you experience our own pair. Right. Our and own then, <laughs> And then eat it, and then give my honest feedback. Aye. Just to fill... <clears throat> they like one of the fucking food reviews and all that. Yes, yeah, so, um, I'm walking up Edinburgh my streets and uh, there's a local bakery here. <laughs> I know the exact bakers I'm going to go to, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will do it. Get that up. I will film it it's and I'll go on the Patreon. And, and I'll what, do what something would... like, I've not tried like a ribeye steak or something. You know, I'll, uh, <laughs> well, I, should also say, <laughs> I should also say at this point, uh, if you're not on the Patreon, if you're not a hashtag hero, become a hashtag hero. Head to patreon.com forward slash the hashtag show and access all of the episodes, including the specials and the extra content. Do I have now. to say, the chat on the Patreon forums is great, is man. fucking fire the new, isn't it, man? Yeah, it's, it's great, great. That everybody's really getting in about it. I'm also enjoying it because, like, um, I'm starting to recognize the same names, you I mean the same people, and I'm seeing them interact with the show. So it's 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 nice, like there is there's some good banter on it. There's some good banter. So Jordan Kyle, I will stop fucking the heroes about and I'll eat a roll and buy and I will give you my honest feedback. Honest and feedback. special shouts out to Jordan Kyle, who's a top fan. He's got a top he fan indeed. badge there. Lovely. Uh right, shall we move on? Um yes. Paul, you can pick a question. Paul McAlani. Paul McAlani. Uh, Willy Wonka, chocolate genius or a mad Oompa Loompa shagging weirdigan bastard? Do you know what? I know you would ask that question because I actually looked at it this morning. I've asked it because it's just underneath Jordan Kyle's question. Oh, is it? No, it's no, no in mine. It's, it's no. Um, Sh- Siobhan Brewer uh, has responded to that uh, and I agree with Siobhan saying Gene Wilder's Wonka 
uh, Chocolate Genius. Well, Johnny Depp's Wonka uh, is the second, which I agree. Have you seen uh, the original Willy Wonka with I've Gene seen, Wilder? I've seen both. I grew up with the original as a child, and it was one of my favourites back then, and it scared the shit out of me at certain scenes. See, do you know, I, mate, that, I'm glad you said that, because I always thought... The original Willy Wonka. See if it just been given a little bit more of a twist. Could be, could be a horror. really good. It uh, could be a really good horror. Aye. In fact, that's a good idea to make a horror version of that film, which Aye. could quite easily. Cause it just shows you the insane genius of Willy Wonka, and I think Gene Wilder. That's possibly, if not his, defining role or, or standout fucking role as an actor. Mate, come on, now. hear no evil, see no evil. But they're when he, great. When he holds the woman up with his erection. <laughs> Where she thinks it's a gun is she's hard on. <laughs> That's the defining <laughs> moment. And the end it goes. Only the eighties. Ah, good old eighties. Eighties was the, definitely the best uh, decade for movies, man. That was the last yeah. decade when you can get away with all that. Beautiful, beautiful. But but in the Willy Wonka, he went method. He, be, he be, for me, mate, he is eternally he, Willy Wonka. He opened his own chocolate factory, mate. He did, man. That's what he did. He retired eating he, Cadbury's. Mate, all the stories about Gene Wilder, man, it's pure shocking, right? He kidnapped eight midgets, spray painted them orange, <laughs> took them down to Mexico, and opened up a chocolate factory. And they're all like, oompa, oompa, which is Mexican for. Let me out of here, you mad bastard. <laughs> Pure method, mate. The cunt can fucking demolish a selection box in about four <laughs> seconds, man. <laughs> Gene, 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 smash. It's done, man. Even the fucking crunky bar. Mate, doesn't even unwrap them. Doesn't even unwrap them. Just rattles the paper <laughs> Just on everything. Just spits and rattles Pure shites out the foil, mate. Gene, Gene Wilder invented coffee revels. That's how much you a fucking psychopath he is. He snorts coffee levels, man. He's <laughs> mental. The, the original Willy Wonka the, Cho the Chocolate Factory is brilliant. He, all the casting in it is perfect. You know, even the guy who plays Slugworth, who is the guy who's trying to get a golden ticket and information off all the kids. Yep. Give me the, get, you know, let me know, let me know his secrets to the everlasting gobstopper. You know, I'm ve well versed in the full form. I know it. Line by line, I've sampled it, put it in tunes. I used to sing all the songs. Actually, even when my kids were born, I'd sing the songs to my kids. Scared they'd be showing them it. And then, even before that, as I, as I got into like a young adult, when I was experimenting with LSD, Willy Wonka came back into my life, and I used to watch that with mates tripping. It, and it had a whole different meaning again. It's like, it's old-fashioned Hollywood, like um, Blazing Hollywood. Saddles. It's like, oh, this is, this, <laughs> Hollywood, this is like Clyde FC <laughs> defeating Real Madrid in the Bernabeu. <laughs> it's like old fashioned Hollywood. You know, like, Bla Hollywood. Blazing, <laughs> you know, like Blazing Saddles and stuff like that, where it's massive sets. So, see, sometimes when you get in the factory and stuff like that, and Willy Wonka, and you're like, that's a real set, like, that's no green screen. That's yep. a fucking actual... Somebody's, somebody's bought, bought, that. bought that fucking thing, I know. Pure Hollywood, man. Hollywood <laughs> backdrops, man. Hollywood <laughs> rip <-nuted. laughs> Where's your boy after you, Franco? He's moved to <laughs> Hollywood, mate. <laughs> Hollywood, California? No, Hollywood in Belfast, my man. He's out there tightening snare drums. We've all flew there, man. Had a great whole day. The highlight was <laughs> Hollywood, man. <laughs> anyway, anyway. I don't know why I thought that was funny. Willy Wonka, the original, but the, the remake with Johnny Depp is pish. It's all right. Again, oh, it's pish. a wee bit more watered down for the Waynes. That one, it's a wee bit more but again, millennial. Like, why, fucking why let's remake not offend it? anybody. Uh, there are some films you shouldn't remake. Why remake it? Do you know what I mean? See, you could probably even that fucking... All that fucking... Uh, complaining generation could probably find things a million things in the original Willy Wonka to complain about, but very little to complain about in the remake, other than exploiting small people, if you want to call it that. Well, uh, Paul Macalani, uh, I think Willy Wonka the original is a classic, and uh, oh dear. Gene Wilder is an absolute genius. Uh, let's look at what else we got me here. Uh, David Stenhouse, uh, good question, David. Uh, David has asked, how important are team making skills? I mean, a good copper can always make a shite visit half decent. Um, that's the only thing that I would say that 
I don't know if I've helped or or been involved in the improvement, but since the the two years that me and the missus have been together, her tea and coffee making skills were shocking, almost grounds for divorce. And now she makes an excellent cuppa. I'm surprised to hear that because she's feel it. North England, and they like a cuppa, so she should be well versed in how to give, give how to give a good cup of tea. I know, mate. I know, I know. But like I said, now absolutely. fancy a brew, fancy a brew, all that kind of stuff. That's, that's you know, tip top, man. I make a good. fucking great coffee, right? And a cup of tea. Right. Well, let's talk about tea, right? Okay, because the question was talk, about tea. I talk me through your prep for a cup of tea. So. um uh, first of all, I get the get the cup. Always a china mug, uh, adds to the flavour. And then I get my 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 Sichuan, uh tea leaves. Uh, say a prayer to the Buddha of tea. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kettle on. on, kettle on, right? Mug, it's got to be a mug. Fuck the mug down. Tea bag, in the in the cup. Boiled water, right? Uh, and here's the thing, I have milk with my tea. So I Girl. always I always go past the desired amount of water because when I take the bag out, the water will drop, right? Yes, yes. Because so, yes. there's nothing worse sometimes when people pour like a cup and I go, see when you take the bag out, mate, that's going to be half a brew. So you yes. pour past what you think is the level. I get one stuff and then I'll leave it. I'll let it stew for a wee bit, right? Yep, yep. I'll go to the fridge. I'll get my milk out. You know, I'll maybe consider a wee a wee. Have you put the milk in? Right? No, the milk's not in. No. Oh. No, no, and and I'll 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 let me finish, right? I'll I'll let it brew. I'll bring the bag up a few times, dunk it a few times, and then what I'll do is I'll get the spoon, the body of the spoon, against the side of the bag, not the face of the bag, the side of the bag, and then I bring it into the corner of the cup, and then I squeeze it, and then I bring it out, and then I squeeze my thumb against the bag to get every last bit of goodness out of that bag. The bag in the sink. And then I put my milk and I put a wee one sugar with a tea in right. and I start it. And that's amazing cut tea. Now, if you're going to sit there and tell me you put the milk in first, then you are the lowest form of scum and you should be shot and killed. Correct. You, I, I've, I've tried it just to go, what's all the fuss about? And it doesn't it's make wrong. any sense. It's it doesn't wrong. make any sense whatsoever. Sometimes you could overjudge it, put too much milk in. Exactly. Too little. You can it's never the, get it right. It's the same as with people who put milk in with coffee before they put the water in. Fools. Well, I want to come at you with two things. Uh -huh. First of all, with the tea, but remind me to come back to the coffee because it involves the milk hang, right? I will. I will. So the tea hang, I think you have to have your favourite tea cup or coffee cup. It just has to be. For me, there's one that I know I'm getting a good cup in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the shape or the handle or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, feel, yeah, I fully agree with you. I was thinking about this all night there. See how a handle's like <clears throat> an ear? Then it's got a wee bit that curls back. Uh-huh. Under the, at the bottom of the handle. Yes. Do you think that's for your finger to rest on so your finger doesn't rest on the hot mug itself? Correct, Mal. That's exactly what it's for. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't until this last week that I realised that. That's why when you get a proper tea cup, it has that wee lip. So, for example, I'm, I was having a coffee this morning. American-style mug, just with a handle, yeah. right? A... Lower to the base as well. But that the wee, an English tea cup will have that wee bit. Doubles so back in itself. So Beautiful. Your See, the thought process, I like the thought process things like that. So anyway. Things that you look at and go, somebody just flung that together. And you go, that's that's the way no, design no, should no, be, no. though. Yeah. Design should be in a way that you don't realise how heavily Good engineered the teacup is. So yeah. you get a mug, right? Tea, favourite mug, obviously. You pick your favourite. You pick the one that you've had so many good cups of tea in. Boil the water, as you said. I'll fling the tea bag in. No, let's talk about tea bags. For okay. ages, I was like a Twinings man. But see, no, I'm old <laughs> school. Again, mate, just... that's fucking money. No, that's no. It's ridiculous. It's been going to hotels and stealing them out of hotels and going, they're actually quite good. Twinings, Twinings Earl Grey. Well, I've tea. never I've never had an Earl Grey in my puff. It's got to be a morning tea. Hi, breakfast tea. A normal Tetley. Right. So anyway, I used to be that, but now I'm just a Tetley's decaf guy. That's the one for me. That just, just hits it for me, right? Every time, so no, that, de no decaf. I, I, I don't know. I, I can't. I love a cup of tea at night, and if I drink a cup of tea at night, I don't sleep because that's of rubbish. Mate, I have a coffee every night before I go to my bed. I know, and so does my missus. It does then, but no. we meet if I drink a can iron brew, anything pepped up later on, I'm fucking wired. That, so, right, listen, just let me that's my excuse. <laughs> tea bag in, add the bag water in. in, yep. 
I, I fill it up. Now, I used to be the guy with the take the tea bag out because you know it's going to drop. I'll leave the tea bag in till I leave finish in, the man. cup. Leave it in. Right. Or till you finish drinking it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, then I'll, okay, I put a, okay. Put a splodge of milk in. I just get it, just that nice dark sandy coloured. Oh, so you, you put the milk in before removing the bag? I don't remove the bag ever. Oh, you don't leave the, the bag in? I leave it in, in for its right. entirety. Let right? it because, even more. And, and here's another thing. I put, I put my one scoop of sugar in. I make sure it goes down and doesn't touch the bag because I don't want yep. sugar getting into the bag. I hear you. Then I just swirl it. Yep. I don't squeeze or move about with the tea bag because I've been told uh -huh. that's actually bad for your cup of tea if you squeeze you're right the you, you shouldn't squeeze the bag i'm just i was being honest i was being open and aye, honest aye. i'm just telling it's, you that's how i do it if, see that's how i lay it in because you can get before you fling it out you get into the habit of squeezing the tea bag just lay it in boulders tea a well, lot of folk get freaked out with the tea bag in the tea i don't i like it <laughs> when i drink green tea i leave the bag in the cup i don't aye, take before anal sex <laughs> Fucking green tea. Do you know drink green tea? No, nah, my missus drinks all that. I, I went nice, through a wee man. period. I went through a wee period when I probably was having a fucking meltdown. I was on fruit teas and all nah, that. No, I said, what the fuck man. am I doing? Green tea, but do you know why I drink green tea? Because I I can drink green tea. I don't have any sugar in it. So see, like if I go a week where I'm just battling the coffee, man, like having six, seven coffees while I'm working, and then I'll go to the green tea and have a week on green tea because I don't have any sugar yeah. in it. Mental. I drink so much hot drink. I, green tea is lovely, but I leave the bag in for that. Let it stew, mate. I have I, never there's no flavor in it whatsoever. I've never, I've never stewed. I've never had tea just with the leaves, like brewed it that way. I've never done that. Maybe that needs mushrooms like that. <laughs> I, I've never done it with tea. No, I've never. Had. No, I tell you, I have some vibey restaurants today with that pish, and it's it's never. It's, there's nothing worse than really wanting ganting for a cup of tea and you get a shit tea. But I, I remember that. fucking <laughs> the tea leaves everywhere and fucking or it's some shit fucking tea bag. There's a there's a comic called Tom Wigglesworth, who's brilliant, an amazing it's comic. A kid on name Wigglesworth. I know it's real name, but uh, he's amazing. He looks like Sideshow Bob. He's about seven feet tall, big mad hair. He's actually got a show that was on uh, BBC Four, where he takes you through like industrial parts of England and does talks on them. It's brilliant, right? Just because he's really funny. Anyway. He used to do a bit of material about you You never get, see if you're, uh, nobody ever does any work drinking like a fancy tea or a fancy coffee. It's always like a mug. So say like you're a builder or you're a worker or you're getting stuff done, you would never sit and have a wee delicate. It's always like no. get a mug fucking. Your mug just tea. in the 80s. Aye, mug of instant. Do you know what I mean? Mug of instant fucking right. Here we go, lads. Butter in. That's the, uh, that's the mentality. Having a wee, a nice wee cup is like you say, vibey restaurant, your afternoon teas, that kind of thing. Everything else should be a mug, especially Aye. like first thing Just in the morning. Fucking tea rings all around the table, spillage, sugar everywhere. <laughs> you're fucking good. <laughs> Same like if you're having a, a breakfast, if you're hungover or something like that, you don't want a wee skittery cup of tea. You want a big fucking mug. A boulder's tea. You want a fucking boulder's, boulder's tea. tea mate. Boulder's you want a boulder to smash it into your face as you're drinking it. I don't know again if it's a if it's a new generation, um, but we've had a couple of workies in the house during lockdown. The sky was fucked, the internet was fucked, and something in the building was fucked. And not one worky has accepted a cup of tea. But could you think about this? A, it's COVID, and also if they drank a cup of tea in every house they were in, they'd be out there nothing, caffeine, big man. Mate, see if I was a worky, I'd be drinking a cup of tea, not only in every house, I'd be Just drinking tea biscuit. between houses as well. I'd want a biscuit in there. You would always just got a tea. You got a wagon wheel and all there. But I thought that was I thought that was like the unwritten rule. If you go to somebody's who's wee man, they offer you a tea. You take a cup of tea, right? That's cheeky if you turned in tea. The unwritten rule is if you get any work in your house, you bought right, boys. Cut a tea. We own slice or we own fucking ham. What house are you in that you're getting a fucking roll and sausage? If you're, if you're getting a big job, you look after your workies and they look after you. Exactly, but then how would you feel if the workers turned around and went, oh, we're all right, mate, no, no tea for us? I'm at the gym, because some of them do that. Oh. Aye, but I'd be like, what? Are you oh, no, no, no tea, mate, we're just going to battle on my job. No, hold on, I offered you a cup of tea. Aye. You take a fucking cup of tea. I like my workies with diabetes and a short lifespan. Aye. What do you mean? You don't want that fucking rolling slice <laughs> and a cup of tea. Oh, open the You're door. you you? There's four fucking... Boys built at Chippendales. Uh, how, how you doing, Mr. Lee? Uh, we're here to take a look at the roof. Where's the fat one? Aye. 
No, we're, we're, we're here to, no, where's the fat lucky? What, what, what do you mean, sir? We're here to do, no, 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 no. Something about this isn't it right. You're here to rob me and shag my wife. Where's the fat? Right. There's always one fat fucking tradesman. You're just here to seduce my wife, ain't you? They've just got the fucking, <laughs> the work belts through their torsos all just ribbed. No, the wee yellow hats with their names maybe on the front of it. I, I Dan, mean... Dancing, dancing Dave and fucking Tokyo Joe. Just a, like... A friend of mine left, left school quite young and got a job as a labourer. And uh, I was in Renfrew once and he's like to me, come and see the size of my gaffer. I was like, what? He went, come and see the size of my gaffer. Is that so cool? <laughs> they were re- <laughs> they were renovating. Right, see my gaffer. They were see renovating the a portaloo. renovating a house, and uh, he went. So he was going up the stairs with two fish suppers, right? And I went. I says again because you're young, you're like seventeen, right? So you don't know what a job is. So see if your mates got a job where they get a, their gaffer buys them a chippy. You're like, what a fucking job this is! Aye, what a fucking life he's living. Right? So I was like, mate, no way, man! You get a fucking chippy for your dinner. He's like, these two chippies are for him. He has two fish suppers every day in a bottle of iron brew. I was like, Fuck shut man. up. He's dead so, now. Mate, see when I went up the stairs, right? I have never seen a guy this big in my life. And you know, like the way fat guys sit, where they sit in the flare with their legs out, kind of angled like that because they can't <laughs> He's sitting like a big fucking builder bear, sitting in the corner of this house with his legs out, and the gut is just like, it's just, it's just gut and then like kneecaps and then wee legs popping out for his belly. Wouldn't paid for. So he's like, who the fuck's this? And my mate's like, that's just my pal, man. He's like, you want a job, mate? I'm like, no, I'm still at school. You fucking come and see me if you want a job, right? So I'm I'm saying to my mate, what does he do, man? Like, how can he how can he do a job? And he's like, wait five minutes and you'll see what he does. So you hear him coming down the stairs, right? I mean, the fuck, honestly, he's as wide as the close, the size of this boy. And he basically, like, kind of bends over slightly. So he's massive, big back. It's kind of angled like that. Mate, it was like a donkey. They fucking load bags of cement onto him. Like that. <laughs> Hunters are fucking bags on his back and then he just walks back up the steps and he's fucking bags of cement. <laughs> just carrying all the gear up. Like his big fucking, two fish suppers. His big meal. I'm also like, think of the shites that he must stay, man. Like that just, I mean... Think of the porter cabin he's using. Oh, oh, man. He must just hang out of the window and just fucking let rip. But he's dead now. To go back to the point, if I offer a worker a cup of tea, I expect him to take a cup of tea. Like maybe that's don't, but something don't. I know. You're right. I know. Maybe that's me being old fashioned. Maybe that's me being old fashioned. I've been drinking tea all day. That's what they get. Oh, I've been drinking tea all day. Aye. Oh, me. I'm just listen. See if I take a cup of tea in every house. You'll take a cup of tea now, so it's good. <laughs> but then you get the old school workies are like, "Take for a cup of tea, eh? we tea break." They hint to you, get the kettle on. Because I'm fucking Aye. wanting a couple. I remember once I had, I had a guy in the house in Paisley and he came in, right? And uh, so he was in, he, we had a um, a bus pipe, so we had to dig up all the floorboards. And he was coming back in, he basically sort this bit of skirt out because it was all fucking warped. So I said, it's just in there, mate, the carpet's left. He went, right, you old big man. So he put his tools down. And I says, I'm just in here, just doing a bit of work. So I was in the kitchen at a breakfast bar and the laptop was in the breakfast bar. And after about five minutes, he came in, right? And he came out of the kitchen. He went, you need me to check your electrics in here, my man? And I went, no, no, everything's fine. He went, oh, cool. So the kettle's working now. <laughs> <laughs> I went, you want a cup of tea? He went, that'd be lovely, big boy. And I was like, I says, mate, that's fucking gold, man. <laughs> he came in with the wee, you know the thing they test, like, ooh. <laughs> he went, I went, check the electrics, mate. I went, no, it's not working. He went, oh, so the kettle's on then. <laughs> I was like, that's fucking gold, man. That's bad. That's good. That is, even the wee thing with the wee fucking screwdriver. Like, on, mate, I shot, I shot myself, man, right? See, when I came into the living room to give him his cut of tea, he was in the floorboards, so his waist was sticking out, but his legs were in the fucking floor of the house. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, see, for a split second, I thought like he was, I don't know what I thought happened to him. I thought he was chopped Somebody in half. I was like, here's your fucking out. <laughs> like, I had to get underneath it, mate. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm in, I'm in the floors, my man. <laughs> Aye, that was him. He's a kettle up, man. Like, yeah, fuck it, wee dick. <laughs> like it, like it. But tea making skills. Oddly, they're important to us. I wonder how important they are to kids. I wonder if kids even... No, I try to coax my kids into, want a wee cup of tea? And they're just like, I think you need to hit a certain age. I mean, but then again, when I grew up, I was having a cup of tea in my dinner. Nice. Oh, mate. Sometimes there's nothing better than a, hot, a cup of tea with your dinner. No, no, no I can't do it. I can't really? do it. Unless it's like a fry up or a fucking rolling egg. Or... Actually, I'm going to have that today. I, you know, something like that. 
a cup of tea goes with a bit like see look for a bowl of pasta you don't have a fucking cup of tea with no that. that's true that's true yeah, you're right but i the wonder if foods, i think a lot of ways like now, a, wine, a red wine goes with a steak a fucking cup of tea goes with a fry up or a egg roll or something Mate, red wine goes with fucking everything my man yeah, I think see, kids nowadays, they're all having the vibey coffees. I mean, they all think they're cool with their Starbucks and everything like that. And they're, they're oh, fancy they're ar- fucking, artisans. They're only fucking weight lo- loss drinks. They're oh, all about... The fuck is Ryan Wayne's, man. But yeah, I would agree uh, with with David. I think tea making skills are important. I think, I think it's a very easy way to show that you care. And I think that for me, the reason why I, I like cooking and the reason why I always want to get better at cooking is I enjoy giving somebody a plate of food and they eat it and they go, fucking hell, that's brilliant. It makes me feel hot because I feel as though the best way that you can have a connection with people is to feed them, you know? And a very, beautiful, beautiful. A very simple version of that is to give somebody a cup of tea and they drink it and they go, fuck me, that's a good cup of tea. You go, I know. Beautiful, beautiful. No, they get your tap off. <laughs> Just to add to that with a cup of coffee, Yep. Now, my mate, Mark Sherry, international DJ, you may know yep. him. I do. He makes coffee, right? Yep. No, he was like, what a coffee? Like, I'm not really a coffee drinker. They went, no, let, let, let me make a coffee, but I'll make it because it needs to be made like this. And I was like, right. what's the what's the secret here? What can you do? You well, right. let me tell you what he does, right? Ecstasy. He puts <laughs> <laughs> a wee bit of PCP, Aye. a wee bit of it, it, liquid MDMA, two drops. I've got a wee dance that... about that shit the rest of the day, Is okay. that one of the crystals? You know the things you get when it's like, have you seen them when you get them in Marks and Spencers? It's a lollipop stick with sugar on it. <laughs> you get them, in, I'm surprised you've not had it. You get them in fancy hotels, right? So it's like a stick and it's got a bit of sugar in the end of it and you stir that into your coffee and then put the stick in the bin. So oh, you don't like have to it. touch the sugar lump, right? But you, me or you, we need about fucking six of these sticks. I am not having hundreds of them, going, they don't have fit in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, just smoking bite, the sticks, man. Bite them off and spit it in the mug. I'm like, you could fucking put MDMA <laughs> on that, mate, and stir in your coffee. That's a fucking, <laughs> just yeah. poke somebody's, probe somebody's in this way. Yeah, excuse me, garçon. Some cunts put hundreds of lollipop sticks on the sugar, mate. You got a bag of fucking <laughs> Tate and Lyle. <laughs> What is this, a fucking coffee shop or a knocking shop, you cunt? I remember one Sunday, mate, I got a tea for their dad, and their dad's like, remember, two spoons? And I was like, you better put two spoons in. And it's two tablespoons of coffee. What? Tea, uh, of sugar, no teaspoons. See, I don't even use teaspoons. It's, what's the one up for that? Just like a, a dessert tablespoon. spoon? No. A tablespoon. A big one, a tablespoon. There's a tablespoon. Then that's there's just like a normal spoon, and teaspoon. then there's a teaspoon. No, no. a teaspoon's teaspoon. like a wee fucking... <laughs> a wee flat spoon? <laughs> uh, uh, a tea sp- I mean, I think I've got one teaspoon in my full drawer, and that's not enough to put in a cup of tea. It's no, got to be the one that you'd have, like, if you're eating a dessert, you have a spoon with. No dessert spoon. You, do you know what? I don't know what's going on with you and your spoons. Anyway, back to Mark Sherry. So, so the old Sherry boy, he makes a coffee, he puts the instant coffee at the bottom. Uh-huh, as you should. He then puts the milk in. Arsehole. Absolute arsehole. He then, he uses sweetener. A wee sweetener in there. Disgusting. Right, imagine this. Yep. And then, you see, this is the important bit. You mix all that mix at the bottom. You That's get right. a nice smooth consistency. Right, mm-hmm. I'm going, I'm no, I'm no way this. I'm no. saying, what are you doing? What are fish. you doing? Absolute he then fish. pours in the hot water. Arsehole. He then serves a, serves a coffee. And I'll tell you this, Scott. Yep. It was fucking brilliant. And I look forward to coffees at his studio. Because he's got a wee technique there. And I'm surprised by it. And it works. Milk and, and last. And everything says no. Everything says no. Milk and last and no sweetener. Sugar. Well, you know. So I just <laughs> wanted to put that there to you. Another question? Another question. Um, what have we got here? We've can I, can I just thing. say somebody, Aye. I'll try to find it. Somebody mentioned, it's in there somewhere, <clears throat> about the young team wearing the puffer jackets and shorts. Morris, Morris Stewart, wee dicks that wear puffy coats and shorts in the winter. Either it's too cold for shorts or too warm for the coat. Is it okay? Are they a bunch of fannies? Always walking a fucking Labrador as well. Fuds. Now, well, I tell you, take the Labrador out of it. That's my boy. And they're all dressed I, uh, in black. I felt I felt completely triggered by this question because I myself wear shorts. I was out Why on the dirt because I'm fat, Mal, and I'm roasting, and I like the cold. I always wear shorts. That just doesn't add up. No, no during the day. If I'm if I'm going out, like for example, I get up in the morning, I put a pair of shorts on, a t-shirt, and I take a dog out for his morning walk. 
Now, yes, sometimes people do look at me as if that boy must be freezing. But when they get closer to him and they go, oh, it's no two people, it's actually just one guy and he's massive, he's fine. Now, if I was going to during the day, I might put a pair of shorts, a pair of jeans on, uh, a, a pair of uh, denims. But you know what? See, also, nine times out of ten, I'm sticking to my shorts, mate. But I think you like the wee pe- sulky ones that rub against your belly. <laughs> I like. I think fat people are separate from this discussion. Well, I think what the man's <laughs> talking about. He's talking about the young team, teenagers, young ah, team. The young team. Daftis. Because my boy is that guy. You know, like I'm taking about driving lessons now. It was fucking Baltic the other night. There, yep. he's rocked up with a body warmer, puff a body warmer, a pair of shorts. Everything's in black, right enough. They're all fucking like they're like fucking millennium goths Aye. wearing shorts. Right, and I'm going. What are you doing, me man? I was like, I'm in a, doing a driving lesson. I was like, you could be going to see your bud. You could be going to hang about your mates. You wear fucking shorts. What's that all about? And then you see them and all jumping about in a fucking mountain bike with shorts on and a big padded jacket. No, they all look the same and all. They all fucking dress the same. I could look at any fifteen year old boy who is quite tall, and we just go like, that. there's there's Oshie. There's your fucking boy. And uh, I said they, that they, to him the other day there. I goes, look, there's you. And he went, I'm here with you. And I went, no, but that guy is a spitting image of you. Does, it doesn't feel as if they have any individuality. No, they're right out of packet. But do you know, think that 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 goes for society as a whole. Remember, like, see when you were young and you would kick a boot? Like, I, I certainly had a mixed group. Do you know what I mean like we never I had, had the money? We never had the money to subscribe to certain fucking looks and fashions. I mean, what I mean is, did you know have somebody in the group who was a little bit better off than you? So you thought aye. he was the rich one, but he wasn't really. It's just his mom and dad were good at saving, uh, right? Or, or you had the he fashion. Got a fucking pair of sannies and a pair of jeans before any other cunt. Aye, you, you had, the, and then He's you had the fashion. Loaded. Aye, you had the fashionable one, and you thought, how the fuck does your mom afford this? And she's fucking forty grand deep in a catalogue. She sucks and she's the catalogue right, Exactly, right. And then you had like somebody else in the group who was a wee bit fucking hippie or a wee bit out there. And then you had somebody else in the group who was an absolute Daffy social hang, social hand grenade. <laughs> Anytime another group came, you'd shite yourself in case they fucking just started mauling cunts. And then now it seems as if everybody just has their own wee group. They all think the same. They all speak the same. They all act the same. They're just, they all just want to be wee clones of each other. I love it when they think they're fucking super smart and you're <laughs> just going, you know fuck all. And then you're just you, a bit... It's, I'm aware I can go into full dad mode and I understand now the frustrations of, say, like my dad, when I used to think I was fucking new, I used to think my dad was daft. He doesn't know fuck all. But, mate, I, I knew that's where my I would, is with me. I would disagree with you slightly on that because I think, see, when we were younger, I think the difference between us and our parents wasn't that great and that all we had to learn really was how the world works in the sense of paying bills and getting money. I think right. that we we had like kind of, I can remember being young and like having the same kind of sense of humour as men, like adults, and then like <laughs> being in pubs and, you know, like understanding the conversation. Whereas now when you speak to Wayne's, they're like, they don't find anything funny and they've got nothing to talk about. There's no these social skills or not because it's None whatsoever. That's Like, can you not remember being young and like being fucking in a pub? Aye. And sitting that was like a big deal. That yeah, was you in the fucking wasn't it? And you would sit quite happily in the corner with a Listen can of coke Hannah. and a packet of crisps. And every now and again, some old guy would fling you fifty p to shine his helmet so you could go and play pool, right? But you would sit there and you would listen to come. And I can remember like understanding the conversation. Like, do you mean like being involved in it? Just being in the corner. Whereas now, can you imagine saying to your boy at like sixteen, "You want to come to the pub with your dad? You're going to sit in the corner." He'd be like, "Fuck off! I'm playing my computer." I fuck off, man. That's cod time. Whereas when you were sitting around adults, it was like a big thing because you felt as if you were growing up yourself. Whereas uh, now uh, they all think you're a dinosaur and you don't know what you're talking about. Like, uh, I said, wee man, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Every now and again, my boy will be like that. I, my, my fucking mate's dad said, you're a bit of a legend. Right, he's obviously my bit of the radio music. Make sure wee boss tingle. Right, right you're like, your dad's right. a legend, wee man. My, wee t- my sack just tightens up. <laughs> And I just kind of get that. Yeah, Maria, stop. put the stakes on. Put the stakes on, Maria. We're celebrating. And then, but then I wait for it. And I go, all right, what'd you say? He's and a he'll dick. Just go, ah, pff, none. And he goes, and then, he, like, and I'm waiting for him to go, you're right, Dad, you are a legend. Aye. Your music is great. But he just kind of, what? Like, you're a fucking dick. You're, you're nothing to me. I'm a fucking Scottish dance anthem maker. 
Mate, you're a you are a you're a legend within Scottish music scene. Within soul clothes. That, that, this I'm, is a big, what, I'm a big fucking ticket in the usher. This is what frustrates me, and I know you don't like it when I say it, but this is what frustrates me about Scotland. See if you and like Sherry and the fucking ultrasonic boy, I can't remember his name. Uh I can't remember the other guy's Ro- name. Roger. Roger. And like even the public domain. See if you were all American. You would be the fucking you your names would be known across the world. But I it's try this to be Scot- American my wee accent. I know, but, but it's no. this Scot- it's this Scottish thing where we're just like when people say your boy, your dad's a legend. Your dad is a legend, wee man. So fuck. And the thing is, he'll, he'll realize that when he's older, and you'll well, be dead, and he's and he'll be starting, music. At, he'll be starting at your grave like you were a legend, <laughs> and his shorts and his puffer jacket, and his fucking <laughs> cod buttons on his arm. I'd love to stay longer, dad. I'm going to go and play with. We're, we're taking on the Chinese tonight in cod. You were a legend. Yeah. Hardcore will never die. Thank uh. you. Thank you. <laughs> Is there anybody out there? I wish there was to come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a wee dick for 30 years of my life and wearing shorts and puffer jackets. He he just listens to fucking grime and it's amazing, man. He actually thinks he's a South London black grime artist. So like, we'll be sitting, he'll just go, two boys in the sick. I ain't no youth. Brat, brat, brat. <laughs> dangerous men dangerous men and I'll just go like listen to you you fucking asshole listen to you you think you're fucking like a bad boy if you're doing London I say I'll tell you another thing see all these fucking rappers they're no gangsters it's all bullshit nay cunt's getting a record deal and they've killed fucking six men nay cunt it's no. all bullshit no no these guys are heavy die. you don't know these guys this, this guy done that rap for the jail I said die because you get caught fucking nicking Toblerone's last Christmas he's no fucking banged Aye. up for stabbing guys he's not a badass mate right he didn't he fucking dodged his lecky box and he got knocked up right Aye. he's not a feel, bad man feel like he recorded these, ba- these bars for the fucking jail and I was like you want, shut yeah. up you, you, you fucking me? dick you want me to tell you about a bad man? Know that boy Paul that does all the filming for your dad? He shot a cunt in fucking Thailand, right? That's a bad man right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the run. He's on the run, son. <laughs> <laughs> he, one, one, day, one day he'll realise, mate, that he's, uh, his dad's a legend. One day. He, here's the thing. I've, I bought a fuck, that fucking black 40 puffer jacket. I've got one of my favourite jackets, a roaster. Brilliant, right? You, you bought it? He got one. <laughs> yes, I buy it. The 40 guys, 40 family look after me. They do. So they're a good family. The sooner they start doing fat man sizes, the better. I think I think double XL is the largest. I mean, what, they, what they is that? That's a, that's a fucking bird t shirt for bed. That's what that's, that is. That's my size. That's my size. So I bought the V1 one, one for his Christmas or yep. a birthday. I can't remember. Right? So. It's a bit embarrassing. He's got this. He wanted the bl- black and all because that's what fucking all the cunts wear. Black yeah. puffer jacket. That's what the bad men wear. He came out on a driving lesson with shorts on that jacket and he said to his, you know what, I'm going to change your jacket. To you? Said, what are you fucking saying, you wee dick? Aye. Because you had the same one on? Jacket. Aye. <laughs> Go and you fucking change your jacket. <laughs> dangerous men. Dangerous men. I put a shank in his arm. Yo, 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 yo. Brat, brat, brat. That's fucking embarrassing, man. Oh, anyway, no has he never has he never he been interested in picking up the decks on the ones and twos? No, I've set him up. You know what? I set him up with fucking a wee set a wee set up, and he never done dance music. He done hip hop, but he was fucking pretty clever. Way he was like fucking sampling the beats and all. And I go, I went, I said that's fucking actually pretty. No, it wasn't like the tune yeah. he was playing. He wasn't mixing. The was apple like does not shit. fall far from the tree. I was like, yeah, this is great, we might make now do a remix. Fuck off, you, it's me. No, listen, let me remix it, I'll put a boom boom on it. Uh-huh. I'll get some MC on it, it'll be a big track. And, and, and I, Here, tell you what, day we man, good. work on your American accent, right? And then say one, two, three, four, and then the mic man, cunts will go fucking Here bananas again. for it. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two three, four, three, four. <laughs> Up there, up there, up there. There we go. See if you fling a lot like, kind of brat, brat, brat up there, ah, mate. Uh, that'll you'll sell thousands of copies. <laughs> You've been wearing baraclavas for years, we man. So, he he's he's mixing up the hip hop right now. I was like, that's fucking mega. So then I downloaded a bit of software through his computer. I gave him a wee pad and I went, listen, put some beats together. Even speak to your mates. Try and do your own rapping because he's got a mate in Paisley. A boy called Shogun, who's like a fucking million views, Dana the Grime, but he's a Paisley guy. Right. I went through or something like that. 
I was like, fucking get some mates in and do your own fucking raps and no interest. Or maybe he'll date at his own time. I'm not what to push. I feel like sometimes you'd be like me. fucking like fucking that Jackson. You know, Jackson hey, I, I, if there wasn't a pushy parents, you wouldn't have Michael Jackson or Beyonce. I know, man. Know I, I mean? know, man. Or Celine Dion. I know, man. Your boy could maybe be the Celine Dion of Grime. Maybe I should, man, because my water's drying up, right? I should maybe <laughs> get the wings into it. I said, mate, you need to form a, a super group, Ultrasonic 2. Like the, the Osmonds or something like the Ravens. That's it. Right, let's go for another question and then it's, uh, I'm going to wrap this one up, man. Yeah. Uh, right, what have we got? Any, anything that's taking your fancy, Mal? Somebody's asking about a film, Jim McMillan, but I, I've not seen any of the films. I might need to check the films out. Uh, Jim, films, films to, to watch, watch the bad ad- Babadook. Babadook, don't I know. I think I've seen that. It's scary at the start when it gets shit. It's about, you uh, can't say its name. It's a scary guy. Jojo Rabbit, purely because you were saying, imagine a wee Camp Hitler. So I take it Camp Hitler's in Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit is one of the finest films I've seen in years. Honestly? When it first came out, I saw the trailer and I wanted to see it. And then uh, I remember I was actually in Cardiff and I went to go and see it and the cinema was shut and I couldn't get in. And in fact, I lie, it wasn't, it was Harrogate I was in. And uh, I never got to see it. And then the other day it was on Sky Movies and I said to the missus, I really want to watch this film. And we sat down and we watched it. And mate, it is one of the best films I've seen in years. I was crying. I was laughing. I was cheering. It's absolutely sensational. It's one of the films where it's got real heartfelt, like really emotional moments. But it doesn't do the whole Hollywood and like build up. It just all of a sudden something happens. And it just completely changes the the feel of it, and it fucking it got me, man, really hard. I was like, oh, I'll no. check, I'll check that out. But that the Amazing Babadook film. one, there's somebody else, Jordan Kyle, top fan, has just went, Jim, the Babadook is up there with some of the worst films I've ever seen. <laughs> and I, think I, I, I started watching the Babadook, and it was promising at the start. I think I was stoned, man. I think I was stoned. And I'm in getting a wee bit jumpy. Then it just descended into nonsense. But it started right. half well, Jim. It did. Baba Duke. I'll check, might out, check, I'll out, check, out. check out Jojo Rabbit Jojo and that Rabbit. goes off for all the heroes as well. If you've never seen Jojo Rabbit, it's fucking brilliant film. And so basically it's set in Germany. Uh, the wee boys are in the Hitler youth and his his imaginary friend is Hitler. Right. So you know, I think I've seen a trailer of it and I should uh, have watched it by now. Do you know the uh, what we do in the shadows? Have you seen that? The uh, the, the vampire the, ones. The vampires. Ah, so see the man. see the guy who's in that, it's him that writes it. He's wrote ah, okay. it, and right. and I think well he's in it. He started. He's Hitler from. And I Beat think he did it as well. from the fucking from the, the original. No, 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 no. The original. What we do in the shadows. Those guys, because okay. Jermaine Clement, I think, was in. Was he in the original one? Anyway, it's the boy who I originally he, did that. Did Jermaine Clement wrote the fucking what we do in the shadows. No, 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 no. So see the one that had the English, the English guy in it? I can't even remember his name now. He's like, hello, English, we got a vampire. That cunt, <laughs> toast to London. Anyway, it's for the guy who did that. It's, mate, honestly, it's fuck. you would absolutely love it because it's got, it's got Wayne's in it. And like one, his wee fat pal goes to fight. He's like, I'm fighting in the war. <laughs> and he fires a bazooka by accident and blows up one of the German camps. They went, oh, Baka. Then runs off. It's a great film. Right, but I'm on it this week. It's emotional, mate. And it's got Scarlett Johansson in it. Well, man, she's, you know what's brilliant, right? She's sexy as fuck, right? And she wears sexy as fuck clothes. And then if anybody asks her about femininity, if she gives it all that, what would you ask her of a male actor? Shut know. up and accept that you're a ride. Folk <laughs> want to ride you. And you're also a good actress. Accept great, everything great actor. that goes with that. We watched that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood at the weekend. Hollywood. Hollywood. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> it was, uh, I thought it was all right. The I missus loved it. The missus loved it. I thought it was just all right. Is that the one that goes all, it, it crosses everything and ended up fucking killing the Mansons and all that? Right, that was great at the end when he's oh, up smashing her man. face after the fucking Aye, what? Every, every surface in the house, he's smashing her cooping off it. I think that was, that's a Quentin Tarantino film, isn't it? It was. Yes. This isn't a Quentin Tarantino, but it reminded me of that just to see it. If you've, you probably have seen it. The Good Guys. No, no, no. The American guy. It's it's we 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 your man, the Australian guy, and the handsome fucking Ryan Gosling guy. Uh, uh, Russell Crowe. Uh, and I have seen it. <clears throat> it's, mate, it's really good. Oh, I cried with it's fucking really laughter at that. 
Ah, See yes, him trying to get rid of the dead body and he flings it over the fucking wall and it lands. <laughs> <laughs> he's rolling in the hill. <laughs> That's a really good film. But I was a point I went Hollywood was all right. I thought it was just all right. A lot, a lot of it like and then it paid off. A lot of this Tarantino stuff, you're like, nothing's really happening here. But but then you get the payoff at the end of it. Aye, but Jojo Rabbit, mate, brilliant. But also on the list, Joker is a good film. Aye, that's a great film. Zombieland Double Tap is all right. The first one's probably better. The first one's well better. Aye, and then Stranger Things is all right. It's all right, but I, it's I'll tell you what, I've not watched three. I know I watched one till it's fantastic. Two drifting away, three and never gave it a look. And it's coming back again. Are they coming back with a fourth? He's in Russia. Just sure. it now. They're no, rinsing still, it now. I'll still watch it. Still watch it. I have not seen a good film actually since I watched Jojo Rabbit in a, in a long time, and I'm struggling to find things to watch that are decent. A well, lot of it's just real garbage. I'm struggling to find movies because Aye. I'm that I'm that Aye. enjoying a good box set. I can't, I can't fucking find, or nobody's gone, what about this? Watch this film. Mm-hmm. Uh, we spoke about it, or did we? <clears throat> the Queen's Gambit, I rattled that. Did that you was think, fucking great. Really? I enjoyed that. What was great about it? Because she's all sexy and she's in her underwear. She was sexy, you'd ride her, she was good at chess. I don't know how to play chess. But that's all, that's all you're, that's all you're, that's all you're, that's, <laughs> that's all you're watching for, because she's sitting about in her underwear and, Red hair and you think she's sexy. That's it. But what else is it? She's the one stone? of the birds. At lo- lo- she looks <coughs> like a, a sex doll. <laughs> she's got her, her eyes are mad. She's got her eyes. The big space between two her eyes. <clears throat> There's something cool looking about her. Is she a drawing? Is she real? With her eyes there. It's that Reggie. Put that aside, right? Did you think the show was actually really that good? I thought it was clever how it was made. Clever. And I felt bad for the old janitor. Exactly. How did that? How could that storyline you know I came about? <coughs> I just thought. Down there in the basement, he's surely the old janitor, pedo. But no, he's a chess man. I thought it was good. I thought there was some clever bits in it, some nice bits in it, but it's not as amazing as everybody's making it. But again, that comes back to my point. There's so much shite out there that when something comes along that's actually okay, everybody blows up and says, This is the greatest thing I've seen in years. I've never seen. Because you've watched so much shite. I also wanted to say, we spoke about last time, last episode, <clears throat> and we said we'll keep that for another episode. The lassie actress for Juno coming out as trans. Oh god, here we go. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a s I'm gonna lean back in my chair and watch you tiptoe through this minefield. But I'm not even gonna tiptoe, I'm just gonna say to her, why and who gives a fuck? Right. Do you want, that's do you want the, go, that's what I, that was my immediate <clears throat> reaction. Do you want the, the reason for that? Right, go for it. Because she looks like a boy. No. Well, you are not trans. You don't have any questions over your sexuality, do you? I don't have any problems with anybody's sexuality. Right, I never said you did. But there may be some young men or women at home who are struggling to come to terms with their sexuality, understand who they are as a person. And when someone like her comes out and says that she's now trans, she's now comfortable with it. It's taken her a long time to accept who she is and where she is in her life that may speak to them and give them the comfort that this is a difficult thing. Everyone does it at their own pace, but I know that in time when I am comfortable to come out or speak of my sexuality, people will understand me and people will accept me. That's why. Right, listen, is your bird listening to this fucking monologue? Is that how you've <laughs> no. done that for brownie points? No, but that's the, that's yeah, the she's truth. She's through the door, she's going, that Scott's getting a ride tonight. He's that's fucking the, a real man. That's the truth. That's the truth of it. No, I tell I'm you like, the fucking truth of it. I am like you in the sense of I don't care, but I don't care for a different reason. I don't care because I don't care about anyone's sexuality. I, I don't care I'm if the you're same. gay, straight. I don't care if you if you are married with Wayne's, and I don't care if you have sex with men and women. Or or and I'm not. I don't care. I I hate the fact that we feel as though we have to tell people what we are. Aye, that's the thing that just right? I don't. So for me, it just seems like a fuck. Right, I tell you what. Right. She was probably the ugly lassie who a lot like a boy hung about with guys at school, right? No really many mates. She got into acting. She took a shine for it because she channeled all her time and energy into it and so she made it work. Are you saying that you would be happier if she was a good looking woman that then came out and said she was trans? No, I don't care. But this is the reality of it, right? She's so been a tomboy. You... She's run about with guys. She's getting into acting. She's used all her time and loneliness to channel into her acting. She's <laughs> actually went method because it's reality. The sad roles reflect her life. She can, ch- she can link onto that. 
She's now getting to that woman age where a woman should be a woman in Hollywood. She's not getting very many roles other than the week in a misguided tomboy looking guy in the film or the, the sharp. She kind of be the the. the and then how much the is... witted young fucking lesbian mate, in the you film anyway. You don't know. She could be doing plays. She could be doing TV. We don't just because you don't see it in a Hollywood movie doesn't mean people are not Hollywood. Mo- a hey, Hollywood. She doesn't even a Hollywood movie. She's fucking <laughs> rattled up. She's she's posted a picture here. She looks like a fucking like a boy just hitting puberty, and she's probably going to change her name to Brian and fucking start doing films about fucking. Uh, it just seems like it seems like. Why do you need to tell us? You just go on with it, do what you fucking want, and don't mm. make a hullabaloo about it. I support these cunts as long as they don't go on about it. I, I would have mere respect for her if I bumped into her on the street and she's went, Hey, you that fucking cow food, you know, aren't you? No, my <laughs> name's Alan. All oh, right, what are you a guy now? Aye. Hey, what are you up to now? Just doing. Male porno films. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Some, you know, but, do you know, get my point about there will be young people who look up to her. Of course they will. Of course they will. And who young they say, confused, do you know what? But then there's an element of, of that. Are they no confusing a young, confused teenager? I don't think so, no. I can be a penguin. What? She's come out as a penguin. But that's not, she's not came out as a, she's not came out as a penguin. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I identify as a smarty. <laughs> 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 That, that that's a completely different thing. It's well, all right. What is transgender? Is that like a woman who feels she's tra- she she wants to be a man, or a man feels like they want they need to be a woman? Is that trans? I thought trans was just like you could you you can be anything you want. I like thought, a Mr. Ben of the sexual playground. <laughs> I thought trans was like Octobots and Optimus <laughs> Prime. <Play. laughs> I thought trans was one of the fancy American Corvettes. <laughs> I'm uh, trans. Is it a diesel? <laughs> <laughs> You're trans, mate. No way, man. Is that Octobot or, or the other ones? Are you, are you one of the good guys or the bad guys? You're, you're trans. Do you turn into a truck and you one of these shite ones that turns into a monster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way, man. Like Bumblebee. That's pure mental, man. This guy's Have trans. You, like Bumblebee, man. Do these flood guys trans? It's b- <laughs> go, it's go, sh- Gadget Adam. Smash the, sh- him. <laughs> <laughs> the shittest transformer ever. I used to call them in my stand up set Scottish X Men. That's what I call people with floods. <laughs> like they've, they've tried to create this race of super people. It's just pure. I love him. Skelp. <laughs> What's your power? I can heed but lift buttons. <laughs> pure do- Dr. Xavier rolls out the lift quickly. It, fuck, I don't even know. What would you call a Scottish X Men? Quickly, uh, Seamus, floor 11, <laughs> right on, Doctor, scalp. <laughs> Th- no, that- uh, what, would the, what would the Scottish X-Men be called? It'd be like fucking the young team. <laughs> the I'd be like team. H- Hector or something like that. No, Doctor, Doctor, Hector. Doctor, go speak to the Doctor. Doctor Xavier. Aye. I'm going to take you to Hollywood, scalp. <laughs> <laughs> That's his superpower, is that he can knock people out with his, head, his massive forehead, right? And then he plugs his wee tiny fucking half-grown pinky into their ear and he can download all their the memories, data. Their sexy <laughs> dreams. <laughs> <laughs> tra- tra- trans people and transgender are just someone who is, feels that like they're born the wrong sex. Right. They, 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 they identify with uh, the opposite sex or a different sex from what they are. And then there's so, pre-op and post-op. Trans well, that's, who that's people, really that, committed. <laughs> that's people who then choose to have, uh, obviously, surgery to reassign, physically reassign their gender. But look, look at it like this, right? I know that there are people there who are like, oh, that's a lot of nonsense. But think of it like this. We put it on its other, and on its head, right? <laughs> I know you're going to start laughing here. Think how lucky you are. I do know that you, that. Have, that you have grown up knowing who you are as a person, knowing what you enjoy, and for that, and even, I say that, for that to be accepted by society, right? Think how hard that would have been, especially when you grew up in the 70s, do you mean, or or in the 80s, if you had been even just a gay man, and you were unable to express that. Now, imagine on top of that, that you're straight, but you feel as though you're a woman. 
and you don't know how to express that. Aye, and if you, were to, if you were to say that to anybody, not only would you be laughed at, you'd probably be fucking get your head kicked in. Aye, yeah, but so imagine having to grow up with that your whole life and then also being in a situation now where suddenly people are speaking about people who are trans or transitioning or transgender or even just identification problems, but you're still just a wee guy or a wee Wait, lassie. For, identification problems? Aye, because you don't know, you, you identify you don't know who identify with, like a penguin or that's... Yeah, we go, so that. you're just twisted by going like, what is it, you man, you're a penguin or a cocoa pop, what's wrong with you? <laughs> 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 imagine how horrible that must be to have, have to live Aye, your life on that. Well, but, but that is horrible, right? But do you know, think, a certain <laughs> oh, extent, we, we all get go. lost in our teenage years where you try to understand yourself. And yeah, I, I think don't, all, I don't, I don't I think agree. all this, I don't all that agree gets polluted with, with fucking there's a hundred and one sexies and all that. I think it's hard enough just being a teenager and working out you. Yeah, I don't, sexuality. I, I don't agree with like the, there was a documentary on it. Was it Louis through with the American people who? Well, we, that was amazing. Take their kids at like nine, ten, eleven years of age and have you know gender Born reassignment surgery for them, right? Aye, so I don't agree with that at all. But I, I do think that. I just, I when it comes to things like I am very grateful, I suppose, I'll try and think of it that way, that I have never had any issues like that. I've had, I've had other issues, mate. I'm fucking mental in the heat, but right. never had yeah. any problems like that. Give me, give me, give me. I thought about it, right? I was thinking about it, going trans, going the whole way, right? But I don't like, my, my, <laughs> like you me, mate. I take... miss you wanking too much. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I'm not a fucking finger up. I'm a horny guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> what I want you to do, mate, right, is I want a pure, beautiful-looking fanny, but going to lose a big, fat clit so I could just punch that and still pretend I'm wanking myself off. Is that possible? Doctor. <laughs> I just want a big, see the wee man in the boat? Just blow it right up, so it's just hanging out like a ball bag. <laughs> I want it to look like the, the man in the boat's got a massive head, right? Not one of the wee fucking dwarfs, mate, with the giant heads. Imagine he's on a boat. But the boat's tiny. That's what I want. I want it a lot like a fucking lonely grape. See, see if you were transitioning to become a woman. Yeah. Right. How big would you want your tits to be? Enough to get a right good diddy ride off I'd something. Want big, big, massive. Big chips. Enough to get a nap on your mouth. <laughs> uh, what is it about? What is it about the, the, the action of taking a big diddy, right? Folding it up and then a woman putting it right in her mouth that's so, that's so appealing to straight it men. It drives you crazy, doesn't it? I know. You. I know. <laughs> He's a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> you keep, you keep, like, see if, if your, your message just turned around and you're like, Maloka! And then just shoved her whole tit in the mouth. You'd be like, oh, Papa, I'll be in you want. Uh, what shell she want put up? <laughs> what, what? Stop that brain. It's hurt my brain. Don't Jedi mind for it. <laughs> Don't anybody speak to me. I need to record this moment. Don't anybody ruin this. <laughs> you. I, <don't... laughs> I want you to fix these shells, put a Christmas tree up, and make dinner tonight. night. They'd oh, be done. Okay. <laughs> They'd be done within a matter of moments. Oh, aye. What is it about? I mean, I don't know if it's a caveman thing. I don't know if it goes back to being a, being a, a bambino. But there's something about. And you know what? See also, and this is it's a message to the heroines, I suppose. See if you are a, 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 a listener, a lady, that you identify as a woman in your breasts, and you're and unable you suck to, your own nipple, and you're unable to get the 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 tit in your mouth. Don't ever ask anybody to do anything for you, because you failed. Also, as well, there's a good tactic, right? Mm -hmm. Like fucking World War Two or something like code breakers. Not I shall never tell you the secrets. You why just get a big jug woman and go like that? Look at you, like you tell me everything you know. Okay, the code is four five six nine Aye. two, and we're invading the port in twenty four hours. Not making it out of booby. Shove it right in, going in the name of the wee man. The guy Aye. comes up here, sweating, covered in blood. We're getting nothing out of this guy. You're gonna have to send in Helga. Helga, and she comes, mate, unzips. You guys like, oh no, you better stop talking, mate. I'll give you a laugh. Oh dear. Right, anyway. This, ago, should this be on the Patreon? Is this x ah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it clean, right? But my old studio in the city centre. Oh, let's, don't tell set me somebody's double this. glazed set of double glazed doors, right? Mm -hmm. And we used to like, pay these. It was a bit, a bit wild for a, a wee while, right? 
And uh, I just, I don't know why. Right, oh, everything no. has seemed all right. But it's not like this isn't nuts, right? But it's, I'm it's taking that. a note. Of the, I'm taking a note of the time in case I need to edit this. <laughs> it's just one of them, right? And there was lasses in the studio, uh, and these two lasses in particular, who were just they were just kind of cool, just like mates. I don't know why. As they were leaving, they shut the double glazed door, right? Uh huh. And she got her boob out, and she uh-huh. had like a, one of the wee bell hangs through the the boob. Right. And she smashed it into the, the bare boob right into the the windy. So you heard <laughs> the, like, eleven. You heard the against right. the glass, right? And uh-huh. then she went and licked it, right? And left. Once I got all the shock of that, I chased her all night. I had to hover. I knew that it woman blew was, my mind. That woman's a lead singer, a TFT. Please go on stage. Her name's Shirley Manson, and she was in a wee book <laughs> group called Garbage. No, she's no any boobs. But that, that blew my mind. That absolutely blew my mind. There's something there's something about breasts that and I don't think women understand the power of that breasts they, that they yield. It must be something like what you were saying for the for it's deep ingrained, even for your young sucking on them <laughs> enjoying milk. <laughs> I don't know, they're just they're, they're brilliant. They're absolutely <laughs> they're brilliant. brilliant. I, I can't you like about them. They're brilliant. I could go into quite in-depth discussion about transgender people, people struggling with sexuality. I can't date with tits. All I can say is they're fucking brilliant. I know you've got hang one of your sketches, like the blue veiners and all that kind of stuff, because oh, that mate, made me spit out laughing. See old, proper old porno tits? You know the big milkers and they're all... Uh-huh. Li- Just lunges. ones you could volley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lie them down, you've got two kicks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want to do like a good cricket batman right to the side of it. Again, not in an abusive way. You know, not in a, a fun loving way. I have fun loving. Oh, I want you to do, Henry, is the one you go in all fours and then I'm going to volley your tits. Right? That's what I want to do. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd like them to like, like hang for a ladder so they're maybe hanging at door height and then just run. <laughs> and they hit by you as you run under the door. <laughs> I just do that all day, back and forth. See, that would be really yes. nice because I'm bald. So I'd feel, I'd feel the wee nip brush along my hairline. You'd be like, 11. <laughs> 11. 11. <laughs> Shook like it. Thump. <laughs> Milked it. Bosh. Back in it. Oh. Penalties with them. Good times, man. <laughs> Good times. How how we got to talking about that from uh, from from trans people? I don't know, but that's the hashtag show, and that's us that's for another it. episode. Right, let's wrap this one up. We've, we've got nothing to plug. <sighs> Just uh, if you're not a hero, become a hero. You get access to every single episode, including all the specials. There'll be more specials coming up very soon. Thanks to everybody who asked a question. If you do have any questions for future episodes, please do get in touch, and uh, we will speak to all the heroes next week for episode one hundred and five. And that's I've, it. Got to be hang- I've got to be hanky plug, actually. Go for it. On the 27th of December from 7 p.m., I'm doing a, a very special live stream, 1994 live stream, from inside the Metropolis nightclub in Salkets, which, wow. if you don't know, it's a legendary, famous, old, probably one of the most iconic rave buildings in Scotland. An old cinema that was a nightclub. Uh, so there's guys in there renovating it. They know it's <clears> taking them years. And I'm going in there to actually, I brought all the original residents back and we're going to do a special live stream. And I thought 27th of December, that deed space between Christmas and New Year, yep. when spirits are low, fucked up, but I get we lift up for everybody. So get to the 1994 Rave Facebook page for mere info, you're all da. It's got a rave on. But in Hollywood. Hollywood. Right, do that. Right, that's it. Uh, follow the show, subscribe, share it when you see it on the socials and uh, head to patreon.com forward slash the hashtag show or go to the hashtag show.co.uk for all the links and become a hero. You know it makes sense. 86 pence a week, mate. 86 pence a week. Fuck's sake, just do it. Sign up. Right, that's it. Thanks for another episode. 104 in the bag. All the best. Tatty bye. And remember, the hashtag show isn't just for Christmas. It's all year round. Even if you're trans. Goodbye. Hi, everybody.
thank you tonight. Good night. 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 Good